with copper. Copper. Oh, so you haven't paid them yet. It's like a dick. Wow. I just started this stream and that's the first thing people will hear. <laughs> so uh, you've got 30 oh. barrels of water again now because they were doing rain catching. You've got got uh like you haven't had any more hard tack but just i'm just gonna yeah i'm gonna haven't they been as... able to feed themselves though <clears throat> oh yeah yeah they fed themselves and the, the whole time that you were away like almost a week those 10 days they were fishing they were collecting and drying fruit and stuff and collecting rainwater and just in general having a nice holiday while getting paid so well, yeah, pretty high spirits. So the deal, how I say we should tell them that we're gonna be at most a month to go to Omu and back. What's your everyone else's opinion? Mm. I don't want to die. Yeah, like what happens nice. if we die and they're just sitting there with this shit? Well, that's why after I say a month they leave. Yeah, that's why I say we won't be more than a month. Okay, a month. And then, but the, like the thing is, you know, they wouldn't get paid if we died. So they might come and rescue us. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Unlikely. Well, they don't get paid enough wait, for that. Wait, we don't. Uh, you know, the tabaxi know. You got, and. You got assassin people. Mm, yeah. They might not want us to. Get fucked, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but. You know, the tabaxi and. What's the other guy? With the funny name, with the clicking sound. Pile. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know the reason why I know this is because, um, like at night I've been like listening to the, our D and D sessions in the videos, which yeah. is awesome. Um, yeah, we weren't the, we were kind of suspicious of them because they weren't truthful. They weren't truthful. They weren't. Yeah, but that was because they were hiding the fact that they were the agents sent by. Yeah. Uh, what's her name? Yes, an assassin. assassin lady. Yeah, yeah. Rotting lady. <laughs> she, she's been woman. resurrected before, clearly. At some point. Yes, you. She might be resurrected, but she might not have a soul. Yeah. I should like that. to look up her stats. Like, Igno would just be. Starting to rot right now. Igno would be, yeah. Uh, Igno would be. And Tova. And Tova. Tova. Yes. <sighs> um, Rowan, I've actually got your write up up there. My chances. Yeah. It's so small though. Too small. No months. <laughs> wow, so good. Except we only have five viewers. <laughs> I think one of them's me. Uh, one of them's me as well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just post because I haven't done that yet. <laughs> I posted to Facebook. <laughs> oh, as always. Does anyone actually come though from your Facebook? Don't I? I don't check. Yeah. Is that did did Rich drop off? Yeah. Just wait for him. Sure. Oh, yeah. Might as well. I'm so that he's seven anyway. minutes late. Oh, yeah, he. It's okay. I still haven't done my post, so nobody's here yet to watch us. Please, please don't decline it. Please, please. Please, please, please give me the pizza. Yes! The Krati Crab Pizza is the pizza you and me. Krati Crab Pizza. Pizza. You should sing the pizza song. Krusty Crab! This is a SpongeBob. Oh, yeah, the, you know the maker of SpongeBob died. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh, days ago. No, that's not good. He's amazing. SpongeBob's amazing. Mm. I've literally never watched a single episode. Oh no! 
It's, it's joyous. Yeah, it's a children's program. Yeah, why would I watch it? Yeah. Because he's a um, rectangle, and he's yellow, and he's Why? got, and he's in an abusive friendship with Patrick. <laughs> Patrick <laughs> acts dumb, but I think he's smart. Oh, that's the pizza song. Sorry, guys, another five minutes. Trauma. Five minutes. What? Oh, there's. He, I think he's got a lot of drama going on. Oh, he got rid of it. Oops. By the way, that's the song that you should sing, Laura, when you get your pizza. <coughs> I think the fact that you have all these um, songs on cue, Nina, explains a lot about your personality. Wow. This is Gumball. It's not in cue. It's just that I know it. You already do. Because my siblings sing it. And by that I mean my younger siblings. Check your music from my Instagram post. I don't think you can use copyrighted music. I think you can. Okay. You, I think you can. <laughs> That's illegal. It's built in into the, like, Instagram. Oh shit, okay, never mind. Take it back. It's, it's under six seconds. Right. Cool. Oh, that's a good shower thought. Replying K in Morse code is dash dot dash has the same passive aggressive tone. K. Yeah, dash dot. K. <coughs> Type it out. Is he here yet? Can I play another one? <laughs> He is here. Rich. This is Rich. Still not here. Oh, um, Mickey, I was going to ask um, if I could use, you know, the D&D picture of us sitting around the DM? Yeah. Um, so I'm going to change, kick down the door. Oh, hello there. Oh, isn't she from the other D&D? Shambe Shambello. Shambello. That's Sarah. That's Sarah, right? Yeah. yeah. Hi, Sarah. We have to stop bitching about Sarah. <laughs> wow. Um. Yeah. If, um. I was gonna put it out uh, for like, um, some podcast kind of thing. Change the videos to like MP3. And oh. People can just listen to it. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. It's okay. You can use it as a. I don't know, like a placeholder, banner, whatever, as well. If you want. Okay. All right, Thank the rest you. of this one. Wait. If you get if you get money from it, you know you should keep royalties. I don't know what that means. But... You should give a percentage of what you want to make. <sighs> Actually, to all of us, we're all part of it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm learning everything from different people. I think Laura's going to teach me some parts of video editing, because I asked. Owen just left again, by the way. Just left? Yeah. I thought, I thought he joined. He did, and then he left again. Oh, oh god. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. We'll, we'll do the recap. I, I was I was busy just preparing a thing. I, I can hear. It? So, the, the recap was you defeated Cinderlore, the red dragon, the, the young red dragon that yeah, had boy. Take, taken over Wormheart <laughs> Uh And you left the dwarves there to, to carve up her corpse while you 
made your way back to the ship. Um, some other notable things were, I think, convinced Carmen convinced all of the kobolds in Wormheart, Wormheart Mine that she was the mistress or the new mistress. And there's some sort of uneasy peace or something, an uneasy truce presently between the, the kobolds and the dwarves, but there's no, no real resolution to that yet. They've just been told to stay away from the lower levels. And then you uh, travel back to your ship and met your crew, and apparently you didn't pay them. You still owe your money. You did pay them. Is that so, all the money? Yeah. I don't, I don't really... No, no, you money. did because because we we worked out how much it cost. Yeah, you paid them. Paid them already. Did we actually subtract the amount from what we had? Uh, so it was one hundred and fourteen times seven. So one hundred fourteen copper. No silver. So seven hundred ninety-eight silver. That'd be 7,980 copper. So, I don't know. Did we, how much copper did we earn from the thing, from the hoard? Like, you've got at least 28k sitting in the Flaming Octopus. Yeah, so I'm, I'm wondering if that's more, if that's like less than what we actually earned or not, or whether it's. How much was in the hoard? We could check. <laughs> we could check the stream. <laughs> the last, last stream. And work it out. So, for now, we'll just say you, you paid them. Um, I'll check the stream. If you didn't, just deduct it later. Deal. Um, but now you have to decide what it is you want to do. Do you want to forge ahead to Olmu, where you know the Death Curse lurks? For forty-five thousand copper. Sorry. Forty-five thousand copper in total. From the hoard. Okay, you must have paid it then. Yeah. Do you want to, to forge ahead straight to Omu? Uh, or do you want to do other things? I mean, there are plenty of other things around. There's the big oh. X. It's oh. marked in your quest. The X marks the spot. There is the, there's still some things from Fort Beloarian, although they asked you to do that stuff a while ago, so it's probably probably been done by someone else by now. What stuff? The investigations. They asked you to investigate those tracks. Yeah, south, but we uh, told them to go back into I thought. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. So they've probably found someone else to do that. Yeah, we we need to go on me before people more people get permanently killed. Yeah, and and so uh, I guess should we wait for? Nah. Um, you have to decide what you want to tell. Tell your crew. Crew, like uh, leave them for a month. Like if, if we're not back in a month, leave. I think a month's a fair shot. They're not going to mind too much, um, as you address them and tell them, shit. tell them this. Yeah, you know, they they kind of say, a month long holiday. This is like the best voyage we've ever been on. Um, even if you don't make it back, and you know, of course, I, I hope you do. Like we hope you do. But even if you don't make it back, who who should? You should take the ship back. I guess you don't care. Oh, well, surely. Um, why is it under? Who, who, who will own the ship? Who's the captain? Me. Don't, Andro. Don't make it back. Wait, Bye, Andro. Andro. I thought. Yeah, Andro has to stay with the ship. You keep. No, Andro's not staying with the ship. For fuck's sake! I order you to stay. <laughs> she's absolutely not. The whole reason she's with you. Is to put an end to this death curse. She she's thinks so... it's Torm's will. She's not going to stay on the ship. She's so fucking useless. She'll te and she tells you this. Okay, well, well I'm, glad, I'm glad you're so... Maybe we so, should send uh... Masharab then. I mean... No, Masharab needs to chill with his dwarf people. If you want to be angry, you should, you should get, like, tell, tell Owen, because he's the one Yeah, he's not here, join. so... Yeah, that's true. Uh, the, the, every, like the whole crew, uh, who, who captains, uh, who, whoever, the person... Someone's got to own the ship. The person who first admits that they work for um, Assassin Lady <laughs> uh, can, 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 cap, can captain the ship. 
The Jessamine. Yeah. Oh man. That's sneaky. Let me get let me get my notes for these guys. Crew. So you've got your two tabaxis, the helmsman and the navigator. You've got your cook bum, the half orc, and your surgeon, Bile. And <laughs> Engineer Kragatum Bronze Shoulder. All of the above. Um, what the hell is that shirt? I just noticed it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. Thanks. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> staring at your nipple now. <laughs> Not quite. There you go. <laughs> Um, Jesus Christ, this is a stream. You're going to get us banned. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, geez, do I... Like, it could be one Which... of the people that isn't actually working for them just says they are, just so they can be the captain. <laughs> they got to be... Firstly, they have to be smart enough to think of that. Secondly, for the ones who are agents of Jessamine, do they value... Uh, how loyal are they versus how, how greedy are they? Um, geez, I don't know. Should we just, should we just roll? Just <laughs> roll. See what happens. Oh, okay. God. Um, I don't know if you, yeah. I, I think really keen to, at the very least, go back and try to face those spectrals with a full team and not surprised. Well, I yeah. think we should leave them the fuck alone. Like their attack permanently reduced your health. I could let's let's not have our health permanently re uh, reduced before we I go guess, to Omni. I guess the reason why I wanted to take a chance because I wonder if ending them because I suppose they're already dead would bring it back. But I guess yeah, you make a good point. I guess the risk is kind of heavy. But what if that is the only way? Well, it's only your health though. We'll just keep you out of danger. You're quite slippery as well. You can run away. Your it, having your max health lower, having I mean having uh, you a bit weaker than <laughs> than usual is um, isn't the worst. You can still do dish out as much damage and everything. It's just you die faster. So we'll I just suppose. you are very slippery anyway. So are you experiencing any other symptoms? Feel so tired all the time. I don't know. Not myself. It's because you haven't gone laid for a while, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God. It's so it's, crude. It's God. Like, it's like... All you think about is sex, It's like, Tilly. It's like me and alcohol. It's, it's the same with you and sex. Go! <laughs> yes, God, I have it. Go F yourself! <laughs> See, I'm right. not myself. I'm much nicer than this. <laughs> so the two tabaxi exchange looks... <laughs> your, your helmsman, branch of a river, kind of clears clears his throat a bit. <clears throat> I um, say I were working for Jasmine. You wouldn't think any less of me, right? No, we already know you would. It's all working with Jasmine. <laughs> I'm just wondering. Great. Who's... I'll take the ship then. All right, that's agreed. <laughs> I'll take good care of her in your in your unfortunate absence. Carmen. Thank you. Them. And if you do decide to steal her uh, from us, we'll hunt you down and leave you and Inside. all looking. Oh, there you go. Thanks, Tilly. Don't, yeah. don't have to worry about that. Good. Sorry, Tilly did I it for you. one month. One month. How how long is that in the weird calendar? Thirty days. Thirty days. <laughs> oh. okay. Weird calendar. Okay. Yeah, because a week's like ten days. Ten days. <laughs> Yeah. Middle Earth. I wouldn't worry too much. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's a well, fair, I'm just wondering: do people do people think three weeks a month? Do people think thirty days is long enough? I actually think that's a bit tight. I'd say four weeks actually. Do you want me to put you on the map so you can plan your journey? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, bring us. Squares. Bring us the nanny poo poo scribbles. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a wall of art. Oh, that's great, great. It's beautiful. I'm just going Why is there a cat? <laughs> oh, I wonder who drew it. <laughs> oh, I did. It. it was just all me. Cats and... Cats and I'll put it away. There you go. Okay, so Omu is this is this red X. Um, 
you'll have to travel. Uh, you have to travel two days back to Krakama. Um, okay. at, at which point you have to decide whether the sheriff stays or not. Which and, where's our boat? I forgot. Where's our? That's right. Uh, like. I am on the wrong layer again. Yeah. Uh, okay, gotcha. Good and, shit. And Harakma's over there. Okay. Harakma is that yellow blob? Yeah. Um, you'll have to travel across the Valley of Lost Honor, Honor, which is fine. Because you killed the dragon that prowled there previously. There might be some fire newts, um, depending on how good your scouts are, you might be able to avoid them. At which point you'll plunge into the jungle for a couple of days. Um, a couple. If you travel across the Valley of Lost Honor, um, you can move three hexes in a day because it's it's just straight planes straight flat yeah ground um but you will have trouble foraging for stuff unless you stay to the side okay let's not do that well but couldn't we just walk along the side you can just go to the edge of the jungle i think that's fine actually yeah okay. but you can travel three so you can travel faster across the valley of lost honor um, as long as we use a hex that is board that has a border of the jungle on it then... yeah and then you'll have to plunge plunge into the jungle <clears throat> for at least two days so that's one, two, three, four, five. So it's three days across the Valley of Lost Honor, two days to Hrakhammer. So that's five total, then another two in the jungle. So seven. So, best case scenario, you get to Omu in seven days. And back in 14 days, which leaves us 16 days to with, uh, un with like unplanned shit. I say that mo a month is perfect, then a month is like great. Mm. Okay. It's uh, cold in my house. Yeah, so they'll they'll sail the ship back after a month. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't mean you can't re then return to Port Nyanzaro later and reclaim it. Sure, I mean if it's if it's like a partly reason why we let the uh, prince, uh, the assassin person worker, to be um to be the captains because they won't be able to do anything crazy without like giving the bitch a bad name or something so they, it's not just a stranger who's gonna captain it back and shit yeah yeah or we can always talk to jessamine about things yeah. and sort things out or we could just lie to her and claim that we actually we didn't get rid of the curse we just stopped it temporarily and we can turn it back whenever we want bitch <laughs> That's a bit evil. I don't know. Well, no. Yeah. If she's holding our ship hostage, then yeah, of course we can. Do oh, that. yeah. Well, I suppose it depends on the situation. And it would be a lie, probably as well. But you can do that part, Tilly. I'm not really very good at lying. No. Most no. people, th most people look at me and think, "Well, yeah, she's a scoundrel." I'm like, nope. Just that—that's the lie itself, isn't it? That you're not actually a scoundrel. Yeah. So maybe you are good at lying, just not knowingly. <laughs> <laughs> Not my fault, people presume! <laughs> mm -hmm. Such a scoundrel. <laughs> Excuse me, I take offence to that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't care either way. Okay. Alright then, off to our deaths. Off we go! Yeah. So we're going back through the mines. Uh, what's the deal? Are we going to assess the cobalt situation as we walk through? Still no sign of Rich. What? Yeah, I wonder if we should wait for him. <laughs> Got hit by a car. Um, Rip. Um. Yeah. Hmm. Just reading her bio. That she's got open. Oh, what? Why? Yeah. Why? <laughs> oh, enjoy, enjoy reading it. Are you reading okay. this book? It's not spoilers, it's not, is it? It's no spoilers, yeah, don't Spoiler read spoilers. <laughs> she's naive as well. She's pretty naive. I don't think she's naive. Yeah. Oh, Sell. this part? Th this part? Oh, she got a bio open. Yeah. In the stream. Oh, this is just when she's, um, <laughs> when she's... <laughs> I think she was naive. I think yeah. no. I know she was naive when she was um, in the Knight's Order. What's it called? Is it 
Black Rose. Sure. Sure. Rose. Okay. It's fine. Uh, I'm just taking the piss. <laughs> you are so innocent, May. No, shut up. <laughs> I guess. Um. May maybe we can just have character chats while we wait for it. I suppose <laughs> we've been traveling for like two days. And... We're just on. We're just. We're just on the shore, are we? <gasps> Hello. <laughs> did, did you hear something? Wait, what? What? I didn't hear anything. So what's that? We've all re-rolled our characters, right, guys? Yeah. Owen's so dead. Leave Chol we all got killed here. And leave yeah. that weirdo Owen on the shore. <laughs> Alright, bye! So you want to say, get a free ship. Ship's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, what's happening? Oh, ten minutes. <laughs> is he getting... Is he getting... Oh no! Oh, no. Oh. Not hope good. That, oh, no. hope that's, that's not... Um, household related. But rather, outside of household related. What are we? Probably... Probably business trouble. That's why I was late. Um, so you didn't miss much. Basically, uh, we... Oh, uh, Oh yeah, we uh, said that the Jessamine people, or that particular Jessamine person, if we weren't back within a month of going to Omu and, and back, then they would sail the ship back to Port Nazar. Did we know um, which which one uh, was the Jessamine? Is that the yeah? We, we got them to navigate. Yeah, we got them to fess up. Uh, uh, I said, I said, like whoever admits it first can be the captain. The pack, so. <laughs> it's pretty cheeky. Pretty clever idea. Okay. Yeah, it's good. <clears throat> okay, um, so are we off to Omu then? Yeah, we're pretty much yeah. just heading back through the mines, I suppose. The way we came, yeah. And now the question is what do we do with the kobolds? Um, I don't really know. I think uh, the mines will eventually have to belong to the dwarves. Anyway, right? That's where they mine the stuff. So... Just like the door said, it's their business. The do it's not the cobbled's fault they're there, it's the bloody dragon, so... Let the doors Ma what say. about making them our slaves? And then send yeah. them to Omu, and then they can just do the back, like yeah. the fighting part so, for us. We can stop listening to CL now, so... <laughs> I mean... Hey, if, they, if they're good sailors, yeah. we can... Just trying to help. I... Wait, they fly yeah. though. They fly, don't they? I feel honest... Honestly, pretty confident about getting them to join us, <laughs> but in like a troop, go uh, like a brigade yeah, yeah. going to the. Like Omu. Guys, oh, yeah, yeah. Omu is yeah, like they a can really be like the front line. Dragon. They can be like yeah. the front line. The kobolds. Oh my god, that's not that's not a bad idea. Okay, are kobolds? Does anybody know if kobolds are like this, smart enough to look after stupid. themselves? Can they, or do they need direction like constantly? I don't know anything about and Cobble, and would we be able to have a, enough of a hold over them to stop them like doing evil shit like stealing or murdering on the way? Uh, Depends. I feel like Carmen promises, right? Say, like, but well, we had this discussion last time that um, that cobolds can be evil, but not necessarily. So. They're generally evil, but not necessarily. Yeah, they just seem really stupid. I'm just gonna, they are. just gonna put that out there. Really <laughs> stupid. Too stupid to do anything. To expect anything of them. Just, just saying. It's, but the thing is, I, I also don't know enough about how they live, like what they eat and stuff. To, um... why not? How about we take, bring them along, and see what happens? Mm. Might be a learning experience. We well, maybe they'll get... learn to like us and serve us willingly. The even... DM really likes this idea. I, I don't know. I feel like one wrong roll and they'll just murder us in the night. Could call so... one Dobby and take it with oh, us. That's true. They might kill us in their sleep and we don't have a tiny heart or anything. Yeah. Like, I, I'm all for it if we could set up camp in a way that we're protected from them because they can turn on us. Like, all they have to do is figure out that I'm not actually the mistress because yeah, I'll exactly. never turn into a dragon. Precisely. But That's, are, they, are they smart enough to figure that out, though? It is too risky. Uh, maybe, like but there's a lot of them. If we're like... travelling for a month, they're definitely going to figure out at some point. 
But I, I mean, what, what's, what's, what are we getting out of it, really? Sharing yeah. more XP. Lots of, lots of firepower. Would they lots really want to die for us? I mean, maybe <laughs> we can we share but... XP yeah. with them. They're we stupid, can... remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we share XP with like 50 cobbles. <laughs> yeah, um. um... I hope this is a joke. Very funny, guys! Funny! It's called a discussion. Funny, funny joke of mm. having cobbles with us. I don't speak draconic. Do you speak draconic, Tilly? Yeah, so... I speak all languages. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's not true. Speak some elven. Elvish. So it sounds like the best thing would be to not take Gobards. Do we want to talk to the dwarves and be like, "Yeah, well, so you think... can deal with it." Yeah, uh, yeah. I feel like uh, we're tr we're trying to get things done quickly, right? So we just we can just leave the cobbles, and if the dwarves want us to clear out the mines as well, I feel like they, they can should pay us for it. Yeah. yeah, no, I think that's that's wise. And I mean, I'm sure they don't want us to coddle them completely. They are their own people. With us, like, just doing everything for them is a bit insulting to their capability. They've got their own bloody forge back. They can make and we did get rid of the dragon for them They're probably relatively so. organized as well, but yeah. uh, I don't really. Okay, let's just pass through. It. But yeah. yeah. Do we need to pass through the mines? Like, we it's could fast just... this way. It's, it's so just fast. two days faster than anywhere else. It is it? Yeah. But, hey, but we're, we're trying to go... Like, from a hex perspective, it doesn't look to be that way. Unless we go over... Yeah, yeah. ignore the hex. But we wanted oh, okay. to... Um, we wanted to... Pick up... Musharab with to go with us, maybe, right? If we don't yeah. need him, it's actually faster to just go straight towards Omu. No, no, that's what Kim was saying, ignore the hex. Oh, right. So maybe not. Because we have to, I, th I imagine, because we have to go through it would the valley. Be a lost armor. little bit faster. But... Oh, really? Even climbing over the mountains would be. Because <laughs> you can go, you can go through the valley. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. Through this little gap in the mountain, it's obscured by the the yellow at the moment, but there's a little gap in those mountains. Yeah. I mean, we don't so need that. Go... I think we should there. we should go back to the dwarves. Okay. Just first of all, make sure they're okay. Pick up dragon shit and like other stuff. I don't want Mike, to pick I, up the feces I... of dragons. <laughs> Alright, let's well, go then. That's your job, me. <laughs> no, I don't want to. That's you can do that. Idea. Go <laughs> sit in it, small person. <laughs> Wait, he small. might drown. I mean, she might drown. Exactly, her. I'm just kidding, too. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like she was every single word. On edge. Like I'm just dead. tired, okay? <laughs> We've literally yes. just been resting, like... <laughs> it's yeah. a fatigue you can't understand, okay? <laughs> like, death is hanging over me. Like a cloud! So, we're gonna go through the mine? Yeah. Let's go. Alright. So you, you bid farewell to your crew for what might be the last time. Don't Why say that. Why are you doing this to us? <laughs> FYI, if they leave, the ship never goes into the custody of anybody. Like it remains there. Oh no, no, that's what they discussed. It goes okay. into the custody of the helmsman who volunteered that they were an agent. Just okay. Yeah. So we can kind of get it back if we end up. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. yeah. So if if you don't survive, he gets the ship, which is great. Free ship. If you do survive, you go back to Port Nyanzaro and you can see what's been. What's happened to your ship? Might be there. It might not. They better not change its name. They better not change. Yeah, they better not. Um. Cool. All right. So you spend a couple of days heading back. It only takes you a day to get back to the mine. So what do you do once you get back into the mine? Oh, we like oh, greeted to by cobbles. Well like, as soon as we yeah. see cobalt, I'll probably rush forward and just announce myself again. Okay, yeah, the cobalt's know you by now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, I'll probably sort of flatter them a little bit, like, oh, yes, you've been all very good while I was gone. And, you know, just, uh, um, uh, I don't know, just, just pretend I'm really busy and I have to go the other way this time. And, uh, 
uh, and make sure like, oh, and you haven't been, you haven't been downstairs, you know, because they promise not to go and then like treat them like little children who've been good kids while we were out. Um, yeah, so like, um, bunch of kobolds, hey, what's that? uh, kind of grab, grab this, this one other kobold. They bring him out kind of kicking and, and scrabbling and saying, no, no. Um, and then it kind of, one of them throws, throws this, throws this cobalt down in front of your feet and says, this one was throwing rocks at the dwarves. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to punish him or something? I don't think he can live. Burn him but, to a crisp. But like, what? Incinerate him in I front guess... of them. I, okay, I'll just go like, you know what this means when you def defy the orders of the mistress. What is it? Hmm? Do you know? Do you know? <laughs> and I ask around. Please, please, mistress, mercy. I, I, I literally like ask one of the stand like cobbles standing nearby like, what did I do last time this happened? <laughs> this. Uh... Kind of scratches, scratches his head a bit. Mm. Uh, you ate him. Yes. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Well, you are in luck because I just ate before I came in. <laughs> you shall live another day. Oh, um. So a few of them are kind of like disappointed. No, they wanted to see him get eaten. Uh, <laughs> but they, they kind of, they, they, they accept your judgment and one of them, the one that was thrown in front of you, scrapples up um, and like profusely thanks you while backing away and like constantly doing this, this stupid bow thing as it backs away. Oh, great, kind, I'm merciful mistress. I just like dismiss him like, ugh. Mm. It's like, just stop wasting my time. Can I flick a silver piece to the kobold or kobolds that threw him at her feet? Sure. Yeah, sure. One of them will snatch oh, it out oh, of the no, air. No, not silver. I'm not holding silver. Electrum, apparently. <laughs> Electrum piece. <clears throat> okay, so, so one of them snatches it out of the air. Not in my bag. Oh. Yeah. And then <clears throat> looks at you, Tilly, and then looks, looks at the mistress. I don't oh. make any eye contact with them, despite them being my height. <laughs> I just give give them a nod, like, yes, it's all right. Okay. Yeah. A gift from my slave is a gift from the mistress. <laughs> okay, it happily pocket, pockets the, the electron piece and sc scurries off. And then uh, I suppose we'll just, like, carry on through the, the things, and, and she'll just occasionally point out things like, yes, when, when was the last time this was cleaned? All right, well, you clean it now, and then just like, oh, well, I don't never, like this. Never is the answer. <laughs> it's like, well, you do it now, because I feel like it. And um, okay. this, this rock is in my way. Move it. Yeah. You know, and you just make being... a show of bossing them around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the random things that I can think off the top of my head when I see them that aren't too, like, things they can actually do and feel like they've served their mistress. Um... It's kind of an attempt to not have to prove myself, really, like, later, because they've done things for me now, so... Um, okay, sure. Because, yeah, like, Cause, like, I feel like I can't keep this up for, like, a week or something if we take them all with us. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually they'll realise I, I won't eat anyone, but... You know, Just tell don't. them we're going on an excursion. Yes, well... I, I did say that we were busy and we were heading towards the other side. Um, yeah. So they they ask you if you're if you're going to kill all the dwarves. Um. If that's why you're going down the tunnel. Right. So I was like, stop, and slowly turn towards <laughs> the one that asked. He's like really excited. It's like, yes, you're gonna kill all the dwarves, and then we have nice charred dwarf meat. Yes. For for the babies, the babies. Think about the babies, come on. Yeah, you, you would have passed through their their sort of chambers with all the little cobbled children. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I'm feeling terrible. <laughs> What did you think? They just grew out of the ground? Uh, no, but I, like, I really like them because they're so stupid and cute. They're like little cute poor babies as well. I know. Um, uh, yeah, they hatch from eggs, yeah. They need to be nursed just... and everything. And... Know, DM is oh trying to guilt trip you. I'm like feeling really bad right now. Not common, not necessary. So, but like, she's probably like, oh shit, yeah, babies. Crap. Were you not listening last time? I said uh, nobody goes to where the dwarves are. I'm very busy. I still have things to do. You will find out later when I return. Uh, I think he meant like because you you said you were going down the that that passage. Oh right. He was He's asking he was, if I'm going if you're to... going to go kill dwarves. Oh. Yeah. Oh right, right. Uh, well, I guess. Um, well, well, we'll see how it goes. Okay. <laughs> just be vague. <laughs> <laughs> you just wait here, and you'll find out soon. Sure. Which will be never, because I'll never return, right? <laughs> yeah, so uh, the, the corpse of the dragon has been picked clean. Um, there's actually nothing remaining of it. Uh, oh. It's gone. Do you wait for Richard? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey, Richard's not there. He's not been there for like five Richard. minutes. More drama. Oh, God. No, dear, dear. Did he, like, deck snow? <laughs> dear. Hi viewers. Hello. Oh back. He returns. Yeah. He's back. Um, yeah. Uh you are long... right. yeah, that's fine. That should hopefully be the last interruption. Why did you did you kill the interrupter? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, it's not a kill, right? Long, long story short is that um Snow's um had some issues with her placement. And because uh, she has a teacher, and it's been really, really difficult. And she went and spoke to her teacher today, and the inevitable emotional fallout that that ensued. So that's why I've been. I was like on the way home, and then she got home, and then I was just like, okay, let's have this conversation because it's important. And then, mm. fuck. Oh, she is okay. Fresh. But she's just gone off to go. <laughs> uh, have dinner with some of the other students, so hence why and that should be the last interruption. Okay. It's I all like good. to eat lots of ice cream. Uh, I hope, it I hope, everything, yeah, I hope it works out. Yeah. yeah me too. It's fine. It'll, yeah. It might be getting better. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. Um. So all that happened was uh, one of the cobbles was caught uh, chucking rocks on the the dwarves down below. Because, you know, they're easy targets. They were down there scurrying around with the dragon. Cobbles dropping rocks on them. Carmen, Carmen didn't punish them. Uh, Mainly because they... She was expected, merciful. They expected me to eat him. So... <laughs> I just claimed that I'd already eaten. So he's just lucky. Nice. I'll live another day, that's it. T till he gave one of them a, an electron piece. Um, and then finally... Because throwing you guys... rocks at, uh, at the dwarves. No, no, the ones that that uh, that caught that him. point that caught him. Yeah. Point. Okay. Cool. Not because they thought like they were trying to be good. They just wanted to see him eat him. <laughs> 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 um, uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, and because you guys are going down the bottom of the mine where the dwarves are, where the cobbles aren't allowed to go. Uh, one of the cobbles did ask. Uh, Carmen, if she was going down that way in order to just kill all the dwarves, because they wanted they wanted nice uh, roasted dwarf for their yeah. babies. Babies. Yeah. I mean, they live here. You've. I suppose I didn't describe it, but there, there were there were one of the one of the big chambers you walked through would have had all these these sort of nests with the eggs and little cobalt children and stuff. 
fuck. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> did the, we didn't see any dragon eggs, did we? Not dragon eggs, no. Just no, cobalt. No, okay. Yeah, you, you went. You definitely went through a cold egg chamber. Um. So, uh, oh, and the dragon corpse had disappeared. It's not there anymore. So, uh, assuming you're heading back to Hackhammer, you're greeted uh, very warmly by the dwarves. Uh, Musharab catches up. He's only been gone like three three days or so now. Uh, well, I guess four. So, Hackhammer. Um, and they kind of update you of the situation. Pretty much all of the clan has returned by now. Uh, the forges are up in working order. They've they've cleaned, got rid of all the fine new gunk crap uh everyone's in like super high spirits uh, a couple of them come up to you uh, to ask you about what you wanted to do with the dragon they've they've done as you asked as a favor to you for helping um so they've got all the all the scales uh neatly neatly uh cleaned up uh, they've got the, the dragon meat available or butchered and stuff you've got the even like the skeleton as well like they've, they've they don't really know what to do with the skeleton if you want to leave the skeleton with them they'll probably mount the head somewhere like the skull somewhere mm. otherwise this uh, laura i don't know if you're muted we don't need use for bones do we this is okay coat in oh. ad adamantium and Use it as a trophy for your new claim. Newly claimed them. Um. Mine. Yeah, they mm. like that idea. I, I mean, great ideas. Is is, <laughs> is is it particularly valuable? The dragon bones. Just the dragony yeah. bits, I guess. Any part of a dragon is valuable for reagents and stuff. Okay. Um, but they're they're going to be quite heavy. Yeah. Uh, dragon bones are lighter than How humanoid much... bones because they can fly. Can, can I have um... like one dragon scale? How large is the scale? <laughs> um, probably about the size of your your hand. Okay, I'll have one. I have you wanted some teeth as well, I think. If you want, like they've they've got ninety pounds worth of scales. If you take all of that, you could make one suit of dragon scale mail out of it. Oh, scale pounds, mail. Scale. That's can't you invent, <laughs> invent an armor so... that I can wear? <laughs> <laughs> um, you could you could take the hide where they've they've you know they've taken the scales off. You could make probably make dragon hide armor. Yeah. Uh, but that's medium, so this shit. Hide armor, I think, is still medium. Yeah, you might as well do scale. Is scale medium or is that scale heavy? is medium? Yeah, I'm pretty sure scale is medium. I think my yeah, I used to wear scale now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. So th those are your options. There's there's no there's no dragon leather. I say we should take as much as we can carry. I mean, we're gonna I mean, go a... to a place that holds potential treasures, but then if we if we max out our carrying capacity, we'd have to dump something to then pick up more, whereas we could just come back via Harakma. Yeah, we can tell or, them to just keep things for us, right? I mean, we might even be able to commission a suit of armor or something if we wanted, because these are dwarves and they might be pretty good at artisaning things. But if we're going to sell it, Fair point. we might as well just sell the material instead. We could do either. Because we'd mean... have to pay them to then sell the suit of armor i mean unless it's so much more worth well, we just come back armor. at some point and then be like take it to port nyanzaru like it depends we could we could do either way yeah. are they interested in purchasing the remains of the dragon that they just removed I'd, for us <laughs> I'd, I'd still like to have Not. that scale if possible you want scale just you can one take, you can take one scale. scale. Yeah, that's yeah. that's negligible. I'll yeah. just put my bag then. Um, and yeah, you can give them their their dragon claw if you want. Take something else like a dragon tooth if you want. Me, yeah. they they're not interested in purchasing the purchasing the dragon parts oh. from you. 
just because they don't have like a lot of liquidity or particular need for it at the moment. They're much much greater things at the moment that they need. Fair enough. Um, and if we want, I mean, so we we could get them to make something for us. The only being reason being that it it's useful time for them to process this armor, and presumably it's going to be better when we sell it. Like, as in um, value. Yeah, like, it'd be worth more than just selling the raw dragon scales, essentially, but it will take a long time to craft. Which would be fun. almost fine, because we're going to go off on a massive... Yeah, we'll be away for a month. Yeah. It'll be at least a month to craft it, yeah. Does the Spellforge thing create magical items? <gasps> we could make it and then magic it. Oh. The spell forge assists in the creation of magical items, so it makes it easier and faster to create them. Okay. Let's get some scales. Oh, oh um, so you let's can take, take your take scales the from the spell forge. Can I them. ask a question? No, you just did. Can your I ask a question? Question's done. After this question <laughs> that I'm about to ask. <laughs> how, how much? How light is this tooth that you're talking about? Tooth, uh, dragon tooth, negligible, negligible. Okay, yeah, I much prefer that because as opposed to fifteen pounds, okay, that is like ten percent of my of my carry yeah. weight. Okay, okay, dump dump the claw, and you can take a, a dragon tooth instead, as well as um, can't have a dragon scale. Um, and the the dragon scale will will count as as adamantium for the purposes of things that okay things that like if stuff can't break adamantium. Adam Oh, I see. So it's hard to break then. It's like really it's hard. I mean, in terms of armor, does it change I much? I don't think it has the adamantium value when it's made into an armor. Yeah. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Because it's only used as one part of the armor, not all the metal. It's, the it's just an approximation for like the hardness of the scale. So, because there's, there's not different tiers, there are basically normal, and then there's adamantium, and then there's like magic. So. Okay. So for the yeah, for, for determining how durable this scale is just by itself, just consider it adamant. Would we know that it had to be? Can we be make the armor and then magic it, or does it have to be magic the scales then make it? If you know what I mean. Yeah, no, no. The magic has to happen during the creation process of the armor. Really? Okay, so we can make it and then be like, hey. Yeah, then you don't. Yeah, you don't enchant it. Yeah, it's, that was it's all magic. It's something. Yeah, it's something that goes into the creation. It's oh. like fourth, fourth edition. You could okay. enchantments off and add them and try them and stuff. These are they're okay. imbued with the magic upon creation. So if we if we made it into scale mail, it would be fifty GP. No, no, it'd be dragon scale mail. <laughs> it's like rare. What would that? Rare or very rare. Oh, okay, so that'd be like four there's, there's to nice fourteen thousand. Scale. Dragon scale mail. Who's there? Like a oh, okay. There's a magic item called dragon scale mail, which is very rare, so it'd be worth <laughs> forty thousand. Ten, tens of thousands of gold oh pieces. Oh my god! Okay. It's my <laughs> we could oh. definitely do that. <laughs> How hard is it for a dwarf to make a hole into the scale I got? Just oh my god! Oh, they have adamantium tools, so they can do it. Okay, I want so... to ask someone to do that for me, so I can hang it off my hip on my belt. Sure. Yeah, they'll they'll do that for you. Okay, I'll just put That's it on my belt. Do you? Did your breastplate give you plus one armor? Mine. I think it's a plus one breast, yeah. breastplate. Yep, my breastplate is plus one. Okay, so it sounds like this is not going to be better than what you have. No, it wouldn't really be an improvement, but it might be useful just to having. It's also really fucking... that's a lot of money, really so... <laughs> yeah, I, uh, given that it's cost so much, I need to adjust the the time it takes to create, because they're actually ruled based on the value. That's fine. Do they make anything like van braces? Well, van guards or something? Um, okay. Do they make? You can get those, but it doesn't count to armor. Yeah, exactly. You could have them made for sure, um, but they there wouldn't be enough of them to grant you like fire resistance or anything. You'd need the whole suit. You didn't get the fire. <laughs> if we made them into braces of defense, that's definitely a thing, right? <laughs> like a shield, maybe. 
you had a shield made out of it, it could potentially give you fire resistance. Are you thinking a square shield or a kite shield? The size doesn't matter. Like a, a kite shield, I guess. This is my tree really loud. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Stop masticating. Okay. Chronic <laughs> masticator. If they wanted, if we were going to get them to make the dragon mat scale now, would they require money? Uh, um, I think. It's like, we could clear out the so cards they've, they've for done, you. So they've done, you've, no, I think, I, I think for all you've done, like you cleared out that dragon as well as reclaiming Krakamar, they would make it for you. They are absolutely kind. Now all we have to do is not die and come pick it up. Well, what we need, we, we it, could. It's going to take longer than it's forty yeah. thousand cost. So. We we probably just want to be like, you know what? Send it to our estate. They'll get rid of it because they could send it to. They could purchase could it in that. the winter. They right, also let that. Do that, yeah. So, um, but then they would require some money because they have to send it. Yeah, Sending absolutely. A forty thousand gold piece suit of mail is going to require like. Some... I'd pay him like five hundred gold and for for an escort, probably do right. Like a just like a deposit. That's a good. That's a good amount. Five hundred is probably probably enough for them to hire like some proper mages to to get it transported magically. Magically. Yeah, they. Can, oh yeah. They can transport it magically to to have no risk. Oh yeah, absolutely. That'd be great. Okay, here we go. Resort crafting. <laughs> this is gonna like, take a fucking year or something as well. Okay, very rare it takes twenty-five work weeks. Um, okay, so that's two hundred fifty. So hopefully, when we've sorted Shock out the curse, enough. we'll be like, oh shit, there's yes. another branch. There's loads of money. Yeah, so you could have a suit of yeah, suit of uh, dragon. And that would totally mean that we could make say a stronghold. <laughs> What are you gonna? Oh, you're gonna just sell it immediately. Of course. <laughs> well, it, it, like, at that none point, of us we... can really use it, right? Nothing. Although it's for its it... weight in value, it's a useful asset to just have as well. Yeah, but I mean, also, if let's say we all die, then uh, whoever the widower is gets loads of money. They're fucking set for life. Mm. Like our um our female caretaker, the. Uh, I can't yeah. remember her name. She's going to kill us in, the, in our sleep. <laughs> yeah. She'll be like, oh, wow, a magical Myrna. Myrna just got a magical scale mail. Just imagine just... we return and she's like wearing the dragon armor. Got like <laughs> fancy swords and she's like, you're not coming in here. Um, No, <laughs> no, this is uh, fake. Mm. <laughs> and then she just like, sits down. That would be awesome. Yeah. That would be so cool. It's like, haha. <laughs> You never saw this coming. I'm the new boss. All right. I mean, all initiative. <laughs> she's even tougher than like the dragon. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I mean, that sounds pretty cool. Does anybody have any issues against it? Otherwise, we can just do it. Let's do it. Okay. Let me let me dragon scale. Put that in, like, in the timer. Yep. Uh, I'll I'll do I'll do, yeah days. So take off uh, five hundred gold. Yes, and mark off five hundred gold for the magical transportation, and let them know where you want it transported to. So we would like it going to Tresendam Manor. Yep. Which is in Fandelver, Fandelin, Fandelin, southeast of Neverwinter. That's good enough, I think. Cool. All right. Um, yeah, they'll they'll do that for you. They as like an eternal. This this will be like a really nice mark of the kind of eternal friendship between you and the the albino dwarves for reclaiming uh, Moradin's gauntlet cool. um, and their ancestral home, and then defeating defeating the dragon. Wow. They didn't even ask us to defeat the dragon, we just did it. Yeah. We just, we uh, just I think fight. they wanted Wormheart Mind cleared. Yeah. I did. Um, is, is Mushy interested in joining us on our crusade? Yeah, like you said before, um, he's definitely happy to keep guiding you. 
because you deserve it. Um, but he's also ha- you know he's, he's also happy to stay here. If you if you want him as a guide, he'll he'll go with you no problem. Um, what does Mashar think? Whether or not not jungle without him, like what's his opinion? If we're going to Ormu, um, he reckons just traveling across the Valley of Lost Honor is no problem. Mm-hmm. Uh, getting deep into the jungle, he, you know, he's spent a lot of time with May teaching her, um, so he's pretty confident that that May would do okay, pretty okay she job. Zero information. Okay, like, should should be should be okay. Um, okay. So maybe we should. Hey, I only said I was socially retarded, not mentally. <laughs> <laughs> Do does if if we showed Musharib the map, yeah. is there anything that he? First of all, can he read a map? Yeah. And is there anything on that map that, <laughs> like missing that he's aware of? I.e., would he be beneficial if we took him as opposed to being like, I've never been there, but I kind of know. I know how to deal. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he says that that area there between the Valley of Lost Honor and the Peaks of Flame, they don't really go because the uh, of the density yeah, of yes. undead, right? Oh. Quite a lot okay. around right. that area, so they stay away. Um, so is it fair to say that we've kind of been in most of the territories that Musharib has first-hand knowledge of? Oh, what, like, outs- outside of Omi? Um, yeah, just on... Mm. The Chult in general. Chult, yeah. So, yeah, he doesn't know too much about the east, like, towards Sky Lizard Mountain. That's quite far. Um, it's like, Sky Lizard Mountains is kind of like the, the extent and up re- refuge bay. Mm. So he knows, but like, the rest of Omi, he, he knows pretty well. So, um, you know, where that floating island is... Uh, Mesro, he knows that that he thing you saw from. Island. Yeah, everyone in in Chult knows it. They, they don't go there, but they know of it because you can see island. it fucking floating <laughs> in the <laughs> sky. But he has no <laughs> idea what it drink, is. Sorry. Oh, well, no, he, he knows they call it the heart of Ubtal, as though you know Ubtal, this this god of Chult, which is supposedly left now and, and or dead. No one really knows what happened to him during the spell plague. Oh, um, but that I that thing is the heart called the heart of Uptal because it kind of resembles a heart and it drips this this red red rusty liquid is there any way to get to it so you can get underneath it but it's like 100 feet above the canopy so i might be able to it. go there okay so we'd need some form of flying probably to get probably. to the heart of Uptal. Well, if only we had a long teleportation like arcane gate or dimension door or something all the things we don't have, I, other than... I, I can think of a particular instrument that might help us fly. Nah, I can <laughs> Or you could send someone who's flying, and then throw down a rope. Yeah. A long rope? If we I had think. a 300-foot rope or whatever. Just tie yeah. six 50-foot ropes. Yeah, you <laughs> tie enough rope together, right? It's fun. gonna be fine, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm sure the rope is absolutely strong enough to hold Tilly's back to bottom. Oh. <laughs> I made I'm a saying, joke. Oh, I'm sorry, Tilly. He he knows about this those part of the parts of the jungle. So if you're planning on going there, you... I'm Tick. just worried that our relationship with the dwarves might be sullied if we get him killed. Yeah, let's leave him. I think like it's really looking at the map. It's not that like it's just right there at the end of the valley, right? Yeah, my preference is that. We don't so we're not we're friends. not going in the middle of the jungle where there's nothing discovered like on this. Place. Yeah, if you so... go into the the central deep jungle in the middle, you probably want a guide. May may might not be in. Yeah. The problem is, is that so what if leave him. if it's absolutely full of un- help we can get, surely? And I don't mm-hmm. think cobolds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, but we've got a cleric. Rem- yeah, remember how useful Mushara 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 is. It's good enough. But you reclaimed Crackhammer and Moradin's Gauntlet, so he has he has spells now, remember? He has Share, spells? What? The Saw him use it in the fight with the dragon, right? He hunt, hunters marked the dragon. Oh, yeah, you, you, reclaimed, gauntlet. you reclaimed Moradin's Gauntlet. For, for his people, so he got his spells back from, from his god. I didn't realize that was oh. a... Okay, so he's a warlock? He's not a warlock, he's like a ranger. A ranger. Oh. 
Hot yeah. damn. Yeah, well... I think we should take him. Okay. Uh, I want to take the right? best chance possible against I the think, Death Curse. What I if it's... I've... All the undead in the entire world congregate there. Good. You wanted us uh, to go in as five people? Absolutely okay. not. We got we got Zandala and uh, Undro. Yeah, we do. And Musharab. Well, uh, well, let's fight. Should we fight? Okay. Just say, I, I, I think really our life right will now. be harder without him. But okay. I respect Musharab it? enough that if he doesn't want to go, or well, exactly. I think he's happy we... to go. I think if he wants happy. to come, he should be allowed to come. Yeah, he, he says that this curse threatens all of us. Um. I do want to spend some time with my with my my people. I've been gone for a long time, but that there'll be time for that later. Assume we all survive. <laughs> <laughs> I vote he comes with us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Thanks, bunch so. of pussies. Bunch of pussies. Okay. Well, uh, you I'm almost died. Then, that's shush, silly Tilly. <laughs> no, it's not going to get any easier, and no. the NPCs have. Pretty much saved our lives a couple of times. Just, we just killed Red Dragon. What an MVC! <laughs> non playable character. What? Same game. She's, she's... Oh, okay. God. Okay, then uh, let's rock and roll then. Let's that's go well. through the Valley of the Lost Honor. Well, does it, do we want a big old feast tonight? We'll crack out as much rations as possible. Dragon like, meat. Celebrate with. Yeah, let's do some dragon meat. Let's have a big Ooh. old. Thing, I'll try and prestigitate everything to make it look really spicy and tasty and night light yeah. nice, and then it'll Ooh. be a good send off for Mushy. Okay. With uh, okay. with, with uh, your mayonnaise, that mayonnaise. Oh yeah. Oh shit. May <laughs> Owen nays. May <laughs> Owen nays. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> And it's a good I don't want right. your mayonnaise, I want the mayonnaise from the jug, if that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! That's not what she said last night, <laughs> am I right? Am I right? <laughs> no, it really wasn't. <laughs> I said, get that out of my face, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sullying Owen's reputation. Oh, um, oh, so yeah, he's okay. gonna crack out this mayonnaise as well. Uh, I don't know oh. if he goes a dragon, but... <laughs> yeah. Is Owen vegetarian? No. Um, Definitely gonna make an exception right. for this. <laughs> Do you want a plate? <laughs> of what? Dragon meat? Yeah. Like, Owen's like, this thing fucking nearly took me down. I might get some strength. Oh, sorry, what are you it. planning on eating all of this? Oh, yeah, actually. Let me, let me see. Here you go. Get from Dragon. I only had one slice. Sorry. Drama. Uh, rare. For some reason, it looks like Emmy's in a pizza box, and you're. <laughs> she's, in, she's in her favorite. She's the best dragon, 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 dragon. They're getting ready to eat her, I think. <laughs> dragon. Oh. I didn't realize that Mickey was okay. Chinese. I'm sorry. <laughs> Racist. Damn. Hmm? Apologies. Apologies. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at her nose. <laughs> yes. You're touching her nose, and she doesn't care. Oh. She loves. She loves being touched, and she loves nose rubs. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. Hello, you. Okay. So Still the everyone. Spotlight. Everyone who's partaking of the dragon meat for this feast. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Carmen does not eat any of it. Yeah. What's your cat called, sorry? I never... Luna. Never... This one's Luna. Yes. I have another one called Harvey. Luna! Hmm. Harvey! Yeah, so... Like yeah. Harvey's like a human name as well, so... <laughs> we bought... When we adopted him, he was called Harley. And we were like... Mm. No, Especially Harvey's since um, Suicide Squad. Uh, and we were like, it's a I guy. So. Stupid fucking... Yeah, so we just changed it to oh, Harvey. Made a bit more sense. <sighs> All right, so the the dwarves then um, prepare a, a grand feast <laughs> um, to celebrate your victory over the dragon, to celebrate reclaiming Krakamar, and to see uh, Musharab, the person who who orchestrated all of this, to see him off. Um, they use the the lava to to like sort of create this huge spit for the various chunks of dragon meat. Um, 
do they have anything vegan? No. <laughs> so, <laughs> when, when do they have anything that's not dragon meat? Like, eat yeah. What, it's yeah, not dragon meat, yeah. She's so just, they will have ton, tons of stuff oh. scavenged from outside in the jungle, like okay, roots, great. tubers. Wait, Carmen. Fruit. Please, oh. no, Carmen, but don't also, go vegan. Who would be a cannibal? What? What? <laughs> what? You don't want to eat your own people? But I, it, I don't know what he's saying, but I'm not a dragon. Don't say that to the kobolds. <laughs> I mean, I knew you were not very clever, but you, you, I didn't know you were cobbled clever. <laughs> God, that's so insulting. Um, but then they also get stuff from, from underground, you know, they'll have their mushrooms, fungus, um, mm. sort of edible mosses and stuff. As well as... Ew. Uh, what they don't have is much in the way of alcohol. Never the dwarves! They, they are dwarves. Firstly, that's racist. Secondly, <laughs> they need they need time to ferment. How is it racist? Uh, these fruits and stuff. <laughs> so then they're fun loving just... and they enjoy a good party. No. In the in the alchemy jug that I could have made beer, I've just made mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> just, I've had yeah. enough just have some mayonnaise. <laughs> I've had enough of guzzling your mayonnaise already. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think so, it works that way. You so they can have on your rum anyway when we Is got it like back. two liters or something retarded? Yeah. <laughs> I think it can only create a one gallon of mayonnaise. So if <laughs> I've gallon. already started creating mayonnaise, it's like that's it. It's mayonnaise for today. Oh, it won't stop coming out! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so much of it! So fast! <laughs> I can't spell it fast enough. <laughs> so stupid. Why did they put an alchemy jug in this adventure? <laughs> but why is they? Why is an alchemy jug make mayonnaise? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I just realised that mayonnaise got mayonnaise has got the word may in it. So oh, mayo in okay. nays. Oh. Oh, okay. oh, right. I think Owen's been saying that. No, he's been saying mayonnaise. Me said mayonnaise, and then like after that, he, he was like, "Wait too. a second, it can be a cooperative thing." Man, she helps me produce my <laughs> I just know what I'm doing, you yeah? <laughs> know? It, it takes a while I know to produce which, a big old joke I know which this. knob it comes out of. <laughs> oh my god. Guys. Uh, delicious dragon meat. Can, can we just <laughs> covered in enjoy the feast, please? please. Yeah. <laughs> we are enjoying it without even any alcohol to speak of. <laughs> Does Tilly have any on her? No, I, I have none. Not that you're sharing. They have oh, go into the kitchen, kitchen. Right. Whatever they have managed to, to ferment so oh, far, or whatever they, they had when they were still living out in the jungle, but but not much. Not enough for a feast. Okay. So there's a bit to go around, but... I, I can make things taste like beer. I can make the mayonnaise taste like beer. <laughs> that what, that that shit. what you say to trick people? <laughs> That's so disgusting. <laughs> it's so it's such just the wrong consistency. <laughs> ah, mm, creamy beer. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh. Which of you are partaking of the dragon meat? Yep. Me. Definitely. Give me some of that meat. So, Owen, oh. Tilly, Ciel. Yep. Oh come on! This is delicious. Definitely one of the kitchen. Mm. Hey. Is that dark? <laughs> Sorry. This is like. You Are you the eating dragon. the dragon meat? Hell yeah! Okay. Give it, um, give it a second. Zandala's, Zandala's not, no, because Summerwise is, is upset. Yeah, Aww. yeah. It comes Aww. up. It well, if it helps, it's not you, it's another dragon that we killed. <laughs> <laughs> not you! We're not eating! It's not, you're not related to this one, are you? Carl has just made that look of that. Did you not, girl? <laughs> I think the reason May wears like, a face really nice. mask is you. to shut her up rather than to hide from anyone. <laughs> um, Unjo's Un like chowing down here, yeah, like with half orc appetite. She she loves this shit. Um, the the dragon meat uh, feels very heavy, but it flakes like fish. Okay. Mm. Um, and all of you eating it, can you roll d10? I'll roll for Undril. And please no poison. <laughs> and sharp. Let's just just button in the corner. There. Watch, watch uh, Nina put it the wrong way around. <laughs> you, yeah, use the use the dice roller. Oh, the slash. <laughs> yeah, oh, not confident. 
Ça peut rien Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 Sex. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Demon. Okay, so Tilly and Owen, for the next 24 hours, you have plus one to your constitution and strength. What Wait, the that hell? Mod. As opposed no, to. No, score. Ah. Oh, cool. So what about cool. me? No, you didn't roll high. It's an eight or eight, nine, ten. All people. Oh, actually, constitution and strength, yeah. Yeah. And we should blend Ew. this into like a protein shake <laughs> and then sell dragon protein shakes. I did get an extra strength <laughs> modificate mod po bonus from that. Oh, did yeah. you? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, one, two. Oh, you just gotta remember. After 24 hours. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a day. I bet we won't even encounter anything for a day, so. I'll just Let's go and fight something now! <laughs> we give it an arm or something. How about we go to sleep? How about we take on the whole empire? <laughs> Um, I just, yeah, I just need to be be right oh, back. I can't one moment. Take a quick break. And they're both going together. Mm. To the toilet. Oh, never mind. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, I just got a drink. Is that sugar-free energy? Sugar-free Red Bull? No. It's full what? fat. Is it? I, I just I, there's the lighting on it. Look too light. I don't. I don't like the sugar-free ones. Hey. Yeah. She's just looking right at the camera. She's just oh looking my god! god. So sweet. She knows that I pointed at her. She looks so dead in the eyes. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Brutal. She looks into mm. cameras when I like try to take pictures as well. Aww. She knows that I want her to look at it. That's so lovely. So photogenic. Aww. Just switched over. Oh. <laughs> To, I'm just, I'm just, I, I need to go get like feed the cats. So I'm, I'm still on. I'm just not on camera. Fuck the cats. Where are the kitty? <laughs> oh, look! Look, Kim has transformed. She's <laughs> <laughs> walking through his desk. It's because he's going to the toilet, which means she, she's hoping he's going to open the door for her. Uh, <laughs> they're because, so picky, like, aren't they? He used, to, he used to always open the door for her so she could go outside. Now he's become the doorman. So when he gets up, she's like, oh, I'm going outside. <laughs> like a whole life revolved, like a whole world revolves around. So everything revolves around her. And yeah, her. of course. Yeah. It's like, you, I mean, you are cuddle person. You are poo cleaning person. <laughs> you are also door person. It's really cute because she won't let him pick her up and like put her, put her on his lap. <laughs> so it likes like now. He's exclusively, he's exclusively door person person and uh four to five a playing person Aww. so <laughs> she sits on the deck on the table yeah. and meows at him until he gets up and plays with him <laughs> so funny like routine and everything it's just yeah i guess it, i know obviously that's the case with dogs but i've never really i've always found cats seem so like solitary i, yeah. I didn't really realize that they cared about routine yeah, i'm she, rather just she... They just she, act on dinner time. Like, I'm I'm Freaking bored, night. so I want to be played with now. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go outside. No, I want to come back in right now. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. Pretty much. Is that Wait, the if Richard's talking to name the cats, I'll go to the toilet now because Emmy looks like she wants to sit on my lap. Yep. I'm I'm here. I'm just on I'm on Discord whilst I was feeding the cats. Please, so please. I'm still I'm still there whilst we don't need the maps. Okay. That's so fine. theoretically, we can continue. Yeah, Mickey can hear me as well. Um, so, yeah, so you you yeah. gather your party together. Say farewell to the dwarves. Um, and and head out into the valley of lost honor. Yeah, it's it's a sort of it's a barren, completely barren land. Uh, there's just like dusty ash underfoot, and you make sure to keep keep to the the tree line close to the tree line occasionally you have to duck in as these huge sort of dust storms rage across the valley um, and on several occasions you spot 
uh, patrols of fire newts mm. out in the, the distance. They're quite easy to spot because there's so so much empty space and they're like bright red glowing. Mm. Um, so you pretty easy to avoid them. They don't look like they're interested in engaging. You're not really sure what their what their plans are now that they've lost Rakama. They're milling around. There's still some fine new presence. It looks at least though as though there'll be still some sort of sort of tension between the two. It's time to come. That's interesting. Okay, so that's one. So that's three days traveling across. <sighs> Okay, and then finally, you plunge into the jungle when the valley runs out. I do like plunging. Oh, so that's been has that has that taken last days or something? Though? Yeah, three days. So yes. I've lost my bonuses. So yeah, uh, Tilly and Owen, you've strength, and constitution go back down by one. Right, fair enough. Do we, do we pass that? Tars, you, 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 clever thing. Yeah, quasi. Do we see it? It's, it's like a gorge. Okay. So you'd be at the bottom of the gorge. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, but you'd, it'd be a detour of like a day or so to go down there if you wanted. No, it's just like by looking at it, if, if it looks interesting at all. Uh... It's made out of happening. gold or something. Yeah, yeah. It's like. Yeah. Um, is there anything interesting about this one? Let's see. Find treasure here. Yeah. Um. Yeah, blades, there. blades of black basalt, basalt thrust up from the floor of this deep volcanic canyon, create a forest of sorts. That's scary. One oh, yeah. that can easily draw blood from unwary trekkers who brush against their the ebon piles. That are as sharp as the raised edged weapons they're named after. Jesus. This might go that way. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't sound like a good idea to go that way. No. Let's, let's go not. save the world first. Yeah. We'll save the world, then we can do other shit. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so you plunge once more into into the, the jungle. Heading for Omu, a city which you know must be close. But you're not sure where exactly. Um, you've got Basharab with you, which is great. Um, he can make the survival roll, or A can, or whoever you want can make it with yep. advantage. Yep. Because he's with you. So let me know who, who you want to make the roll, him or. I will. Okay, make your survival roll with advantage. Just get me to do survival. Okay. So, um, yeah, so from your knowledge of survival, you would, you would know to look for like water, for instance, cities generally need to be near a source of water for them to get to any reasonable site. So looking for trickling streams and the beginnings of or rivers themselves, or the sources of rivers, and trying to follow them to somewhere. You have a pretty decent idea of where a city might be, um, and you, you head off in that direction amongst your search. Um, on the, the beginning of the second day, however, as the early morning mist is beginning to, to clear from the, the jungle, um, you hear like this thudding, crashing sound as some sort of huge form thrusts its way through the jungle. Um, it gets closer as you as you continue continue your journey, um, and it's traveling with a speed that you feel you probably can't outrun. Is it is it possible that Owen can fly up a little bit with his boots and yes. have a have a look over and see if he can spot it? Yeah, you want to launch up out of the canopy and have a look. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I want to be Do I need to roll for this? To dodge. Uh, oh. Perception, yeah. Perception for sure. Can I use my elder to sight? Yes, you can. Sorry. It's got a range of only 30 or 60 feet though, right? Oh my god. Um, I need 30. 
Oh, you're not at the computer. I'll, I'll roll for Owen. Yeah. Yeah, do it. Absolutely. Yeah. Perception. Perception. Eight. Oh, boom. It's hard to miss. Uh, the trees are swaying and cracking um, as something something thunders towards you. Maybe. Can I so see did anything? I miss it? Was it hard to miss? And I missed it. <laughs> so you didn't get you didn't get much aside from what I described. <laughs> uh, you couldn't see what it was or anything like that. Oh, so it's not taller than it's not taller than the trees. Then at least. It's a fucking okay. Can I see anything? I swear it's definitely a T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Just come and know I'm, it's going to be a freaking T-Rex. <laughs> I'm like ready can to I, dive. Can I? Can I? Um, can I see I anything? Do I see any? Oh. I don't think any of us do because it's So you guys aren't above the canopy, you can just hear something coming. Okay. Is does um, Musharib know like what that could be? Um Is it a T Rex? From, from he He's he says um and he's he's shaking a little. It sounds big. It could well be a dinosaur. I fucking I fucking knew it, guys! We're gonna we've, die! We've I'm ridden gonna, dinosaurs. I'm gonna go towards the back. I'm, I'm gonna, not like, scared of dinosaurs. What, what are they gonna Wait, do? Yeah, what's wrong with your health? Why do you have. That's just a health. She doesn't have. We what? can probably just outrun it. As long as it doesn't what? breathe fire. Oh, what are you worried He's... about? He said literally that we can't outrun it. You can't outrun it. It, it was one of the things he said when he described it. It's like, definitely yeah, but... sounds like something you can't outrun. Yeah, oh, sorry, it. okay. Um, Could we, like, um, detect. Which way it's kind of running to? Yes, you know exactly which direction it's coming from. It's coming from out of the north east. North east. Is it coming towards us? Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Yeah, so bursting out through the tree line. Is it heading our way? That's what I mean. It's yeah, it's definitely literally just burst out of the tree line in front of you. You can't hide in plain sight. Hide! Yeah, so well, bursting might... out of the tree line in front of you, um, like roaring, is this huge, almost gargantuan looking dinosaur. Um, but it's it's different. Where where normally you'd see maybe feathers or scales, this one has huge patches of, of rotted flesh, and its eyes are pure black. Um, as it as it sniffs and lumbers. It's an undead dinosaur. It's looking a... for looking for prey. So, oh shit! Um, you guys undead dinosaur. Can, can, can we move? Okay. Yeah, you can move a little bit, like within reason, or arrange yourselves, because you would have had plenty of time as it as it started yeah, coming for you. Move... I'm hiding in the bush. Okay, I was gonna hide behind. Uh... Yeah, you can like as well. You've had plenty of time, so if you want to roll stealth checks, if your plan was oh. when you heard it coming to Wait. to duck into bushes and like oh my God, you're all... hide. All the tanks are hiding. I'm not going to stay out in the open then. One of the tanks is hiding. The rest of us. I am because from my previous tanks. experience from that dragon thing. Okay. Don't wanna... My natural instinct okay. is to hide, obviously. So. <laughs> Mine is to not burn to crisp again. I'm halfling, so I don't fear, feel fear. <laughs> You're sure I don't, because uh, I don't get frightened. Good. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's hope that this oh, one is, is affected by um, oh. fire for a change. <gasps> um, please, this is broken. Fix it. Roll 20. Two That's again? That's you hid. Is it actually broken? Yeah, I got two like last time as well. You have a plus zero, so it's not broken. Uh, definitely broken. <laughs> I think, Tilly, you get advantage on initiative, right? Oh yeah, I thought I'm rolling initiative. Uh, yes, please roll initiative. Yeah, I haven't actually done it yet. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Ah, lol. Uh... <laughs> all right, good, good consistency. See, no, I think I think your rolls are already initi- uh, with advantage. Look, are they? Yeah, they've got this weird formula. Oh, oh what the shit. fuck? Okay, oh, no, no, that's because of your halfling ability. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Throw it twice. Yeah, that's fine. There that is, is a, there's, actually no. We can we can turn uh, it there on. was there was, but I, for some reason, I turned it off. I think. Then. It says initiative style advantage. What is when your roll is less than one? Oh, shit's going down, guys. Whatever. Just, it's fine, it's a 19. Cool. 
Yeah. So those of you hiding as well also roll stealth. Um, so I know Owen did already. Okay, CL you. did two and May. Oh my god! I thought I thought that seven was me. I was like, what? Twenty one sounds more like. So Tilly's not hiding. <laughs> Carmen, you're not hiding either. Well, I, I didn't realize everybody was hiding. Why well, went hide and then jumped into a bush? I figured you'd just Why do it too. Hiding? Don't worry, then... you're behind me anyway. It's not gonna like. You, you can still it. hide if you want to. You don't need to just like be stuck not hiding. I okay. didn't say it earlier. I guess is this like a place I could hide? Is this bushes? No, you don't. You don't have mask of the wild, so you can't hide in there. You have to get behind something. Uh, no. Okay. I'm glad uh, someone got one. You're fine. You don't need to. You don't need to. You don't get sneak attack. So. No, I don't. I guess I'll just stay because I'm like, oh shit. You're not a pussy. We can be you the can, non pussies. Maybe you come over here. I don't know if. I think that's she has fine. some level of self preservation yeah. without oh. calling her a pussy. I'm still. So <laughs> can you just go. Consent. Just go it's to okay. the front line. It's okay. Is Andrew on the map? Did I not? Where's Andrew? Who's that? Get out of here, Andrew. That's Andalo. Oh. God, how can you not tell them apart? Uh, sorry. <laughs> how big is it? All NPCs it's... look the same to me. Oh my god. Does its jaws and it looks look like bigger? A Does it look bigger than the um, dragon's jaws? Oh, fucking Zandala's dead. Yes. It does. Okay, that's interesting. Because I got bit by the dragon, that hurt a lot. Well, if you imagine like a T Rex is like Eeeh! with like a giant head, like it's just. <laughs> uh, sorry, I missed that. Could you just reenact that? No. <laughs> you can watch it on the stream. <laughs> yeah, I just saw it on the stream as well. Does like, anybody know how fast these things go? No it's a fucking idea. dinosaur. You fucking you fast. Were in a race with it. Not oh, no, what, was actually want... a T Rex. Yeah, I'm not sure there was. T Rex was one of the things that could have okay. gone. Into Shadows around a young T Rex, not a full size T Rex. Oh, yeah. so this one's but... even faster than what is in the races. Wait, it is, if, it is if a we, zombie there. Yeah. If we capture oh, it alive the... um, and take it back to mm. Chult, would they give us a lot of money? It's a zombie right? one, so it's I'll never gonna be alive. Sure. Oh. You can't take it alive. Is it a zombie? <laughs> it's already yeah. dead. Zombie? Oh, wow. Okay, I don't so think you, you can tame a T Rex even if it weren't a zombie, though. Well, they, they, they had the racing one. They did the yeah, baby but this racing. is a wild one. It wasn't right, actually so a Andrew's Tyrannosaurus. Andrew's gonna stand Rex, by side by side with you, Tilly. Yeah. Andrew's there. Owen, Owen couldn't be. A <laughs> worse. Like, yeah. No, he he can't wuss out. It helped. He, he has plus one at Constitution anyway. <laughs> no, right. no, not anymore. Not anymore. I lost it already. Wait, it's already been 24 hours! Yeah. Oh, three days. It's been like, like three days. days. What were you doing for three days? Oh, sorry, I thought that we'd already done all the- Oh, right, we ate the feast at the fucking mine. Right. Yeah. Now, we're at... Alright, Tilly, you're up first. Alright, baby. Let's rock and roll. Uh, this, does this- does this look like that it would provide the dinosaur any cover, this log? No, that's not- that, no, there's, there's almost so, no- Provide this yeah. dinosaur cover. It's fucking dog engine size, okay. uh, huge size. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Good. I just don't want to run in position where it's going to stop people from being able to hit it. So... It's huge. Six, six hexes. It's like the the circle of hexes. So that'd be thirty feet. It is huge. I stand here with my sword drawn <laughs> and say, uh, oh, I "Don't call it a fat sword, please." Let's kill this one too. And I dodge. I dodge. Take dodge action. Alright. Can you give yourself a green green play? Oh what? A green dot. Oh, uh, that's a look. A uh, green dot? No, I can do it. Oh wait. Oh you did it. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Um Oh yeah. Uh you've already taken the dodge action, so what's your base AC? Is it good? It's okay. It's good. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> It's like 18 or 20. Is that as far as you could run, by the way? No, no, it's not. I wanted to get it in a choke, so it's easy for people to stand behind cover. I don't think and you're going to be able to get your arms you around it. And he's going to throw it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get him. I'll get him a chokehold. Uh, well, okay. that's probably how he feels too. The poor T-Rex. Oh, he hasn't given anyone a hug. <laughs> going to step. Quite so grumpy. Next to Tilly. Got more. That way, and then he's going to cast Shield of Faith on himself. Okay. 
Nice. Are you, you okay with the icons? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That makes a lot of sense if we do it rather than you. Yeah. And um, then he's just going to also take the dodge action. With, uh, oh, yeah, with your main action. Yep. Yes. Yep. Cool. And then I'm good. All right. Uh, just make sure you give yourself yellow for concentrating as well. Then the green. All right, me. <clears throat> uh, hold on a sec. It, it's min Why min range of find... crossbow eighty feet. Oh, sorry. I think. I think so. Yeah. Why can't I see it in full? Okay. Uh, look it up, Sabrina. <laughs> Use Kim's spell thing, it's really good at looking out spells. What's the way? Yeah. yeah, also if you have it in your sheet, it will tell you if you just click the little gear icon on your sheet. I and you look 30. at it. Oh, it's not filled in. Okay, yeah, yeah. Use my spell it's, spell it's tool. 30 feet, I think. Yeah. It's so yeah. useful because you just type it in. Like, yeah. you get, Wait, how do you even use that? I'm going. You type in the spell and it will appear. I'm going uh, to shoot to... it. Have you got the site? Sabrina. No. Okay. I'll we'll get you the site. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, and I think you can you can do this as well, and it will just go straight to the spell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm on this. I showed, um, I, yeah, showed really some, I showed some people the uh, Kim's website and they were just like, I hate you so much! You look so cool! <laughs> look, at, look, at, look at the stream. Look at the stream. Yeah. I was freaking out because it's, it's great. It is. Yeah. yeah it's 30 so, feet. Don't, uh, don't share it too widely because it's non SRD content. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's not a big deal. Then. I guess you should I scroll away from that then. I <laughs> just. And what does that mean? Like you might get in trouble for putting all these descriptions. Yeah, I mean, at worst they'll send me a takedown, but that's fine. Hey, can you go to prison? No, I'm gonna <laughs> elbow you. Proc nice elbow thing. takedown. What, what do you What do you do, me? People's elbows. Just waiting that's... for you guys to stop talking. <laughs> I want to shoot it. That's all. Don't worry. <laughs> Nothing too elaborate. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's got like no cover because you can. It, it towers above your your allies. You can easily yeah. hit it. See his big fat head. Uh, 17. Nice. Yeah, that hits. 7 piercing for sneak attack. And undead and not immune sneak attack in this edition. Good. Okay. Good. Good. It, didn't, it doesn't make sense for them to me. Unless that hits. Some magic sense. Um, it, 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 you know, the bolt. Slams into its its like massive flesh. Uh, doesn't seem too perturbed by it. Okay. Um. Could you please explain how the spell flame arrows works? Do, do you need, need me to link the the website <laughs> that we were just talking about? Oh, okay. Uh, I was be it takes you an action to cast it, so. You, you can't do it this turn, you have to do it next turn. Okay. And when you do, you touch one of your quivers, and basically any piece of ammunition drawn from that quiver does an extra 1d6 fire damage um, for up to 12 pieces. So 12... 12 shot pieces of ammunition, 12 shots, yeah. Exactly. Okay, yeah, that's actually what I un understood it as. That's Okay. You will have to use one action, like one turn, to do that, though. Yeah, you'll need a whole turn to set that up. Which yeah. is... could, could well be worth it. Could probably well worth it. Yeah, no, I think I'll do it. I'll do it next turn. I just wanted to see how it reacted to my crossbow bolt standard. Mm -hmm. Seemed yep. terribly affected by it, so. It could just have shit tons of health, or it could be received. Since received. I can cast it three times, it, I might. Oh, it's just. I don't know how. I don't want to waste you it, might, but it might is as well 12. Because otherwise we'll just never use it. Yeah, just do okay. it. Okay. It's better we survive my... this. I might do. even use it... Oh, no, the problem is if I miss, that's it, gone as well. Ugh. Yeah, but that's... that's... Yep. Just, it's, it's right. just do it anyway. 12 is... Okay, fine, fine, fine. fine. Alright, Carmen. You're up. I, I need to hide, sorry, I need to hide. Yeah, yeah, you, you can do that during Carmen's turn, that's fine. Are you, okay. You're not actually behind it. Oh, you're in the underbrush. That's fine. Yeah, um, yeah I step forward mask. and I'm going to twin haste on Tilly and Owen. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Alright. 
Uh, like, okay, doing the icon. Sorcery points. And I'll just post haste. <laughs> Cute. So you can read it up, so you know what you've got. Shit. Plus two to AC, so you're harder to hit. And advantage on all dexterity saving throws. Mm -hmm. Double movement speed. Double movement and extra Ooh. action. One extra action. And I think Please. I'm with 20, so I'm going to move back. Um, Please don't lose your concentration. Yeah, that's why I'm in the back. And I, I plan to stay right here. Way, way, way in the back. In the rear with the gear. Exactly. <laughs> Alright, Musharab then. Uh, what's the range of Hunter's Mark? 90 feet, alright. Musharab's gonna, gonna start flanking. Um, gonna hop over there with his 25 movement. He's gonna cast Hunter's Mark. On uh, T Rex. Uh, I give a different icon for Hunter's Mark. So you don't get confused with this. Okay, no, that's not why. But... Okay, so that's a bonus music. action. Sorry? I haven't got music. What? I, I do. I Refresh do. quick! You're missing the epicness! <laughs> it's a song you've never heard before! You need to refresh! <laughs> oh, uh... So I totally meant to... Um... Talk about what stuff he would bring with him on this big adventure to Omu. So... Just remind me to do that later. Okay. Um, Okay. Now he he needs a light crossbow. He didn't have a light crossbow before. Just gonna have a piss. Enjoy. Nice. Right. Getting his like what are they called? Those things that you put under the bed. Bedpan. Yes. Is he getting Mastrous. his bedpan or something? What? Because like, I heard this like this tin noise. He's like, I'm going for a piss. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> Has a little pot under his bed. Uh, it's not. It's not doing the compendium. <sighs> so annoying. Oh man, I'm dreading the first attack. First. Just find out. You're done in your bedpan, Ron. Hmm? You're done being <laughs> in your bedpan. My bedpan? Oh, yeah, we, we heard like a clunking noise. It sounded oh, like a tin. That dropping my dick, that's all. <laughs> your dick is made of metal. <laughs> hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> it just easily slips out of his hands. <laughs> oh my god. That sounds painful, right, like smashing hits. the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, plus the hunter's mark damage. So he's done 13. Yeah, boy. Fill in, fill in snowshoes. Sorry, sorry <laughs> shoes. <laughs> uh, Alright, he can't move any further. Uh... Wait, where is he? He's probably almost dead by now, I think. <laughs> yeah. He's on the ropes. So it's Hunter's Mark and bonus action. Yep. Did you put... Is that the Hunter's Mark damage that you've, like, output? Yep. Okay. That's right. So Undrill's gonna run forward. Probably... Yeah? I guess? She appreciates what you guys are doing. Um... Whoa! Suddenly loads of viewers! What? Oh, yeah. It's, it's my spell tool. <laughs> It's gone now. It's gone now from the chat. Uh, what's the range for this? 60 feet. Alright, she's gonna throw down a spiritual weapon. Nice. Uh, 60 feet away. So that's plenty. Uh, so, the uh, gauntleted fist of Torm materialises. Oh, 
Oh. Absolutely perfect placement. <laughs> actually, that's in its space. <laughs> it can't actually occupy the dinosaur space, so it'll be... Just, just put it on this one, facing him in the face. Turn it! <laughs> yeah. Nice. There you go. Uh, so let's roll for that, shall we? Hits. Please more than four damage. Yeah, boy. Nine points four damage. Uh, and she's got an action, so she'll Sacred Flame. She's in range. I don't think she is actually. Oh no, she is. Uh, this, this song geez. is pretty cool. Okay, it fails its deck oh. save. <laughs> very, 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 very fails. Minus two. Oh, wow. It takes 14 points of radiant damage. Um, and this is undead, so it, it screeches and roars. And you can, even from where you are, you f you can smell this putrid stench. Um, maggots come flying out of its mouth. Uh. Uh. <clears throat> right. uh. Oh. Did yeah. I tell you that time I saw it, that my, David, David's, <laughs> David's uncle shows a picture of a dead body he took? Like an actual one. Guys, Paul's nasty. Survive, guys. <laughs> Jake Paul. <laughs> no, 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 it was not Jake David Paul. Paul um, no, no, oh I'm my not god, related. Tilly! It was much closer up than that as well. <laughs> Just gives Tilly the finger. <laughs> Ungrateful bitch. I would have said it really quickly as well. Okay, so the the dinosaur, the Tyrannosaurus, <laughs> launches itself across the 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 jungle floor, tearing up roots and leaves as it does so. It lands in front of you, Tilly. Um, its huge uh, jaw looming down above you. It opens wide, and when you think it's lunging in for attack, an attack, um, actually, what happens is far more horrifying as a completely rotted corpse completely falls out of the mouth of this T-Rex. the fuck? What? Is it vomiting zombies? In front of you. Uh, what the that fuck? is the most disgusting, disgusting thing I've... <laughs> David just... <laughs> Why do you... <laughs> They would just went, that's disgusting! Are you listening to the stream? How do you know? <laughs> okay. Uh, so... <laughs> that is, that is... I was just saying how I hope there's only one of them. Well... It doesn't At least it's just one T-Rex. Bumped it up there. And then it's gonna roll a d6. What the fuck? Surely it can't take its turn right away. <laughs> Uh, yes, I can. It, it, it's yeah. If it had rolled higher, it'd be further along. Just it just acts on the account of the in, in the initiative order. So it just happened to take its turn right away because it rolled really low. Fucking it's so annoying. You can't use a haste action to dodge. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, that'd be really fucking powerful. Oh, but right. you can use your main action and then use your haste action to attack. Right? Attack, yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Um, so after the zombie falls out, uh, it's gonna lunge at you with its bite, Tilly. Fucking bring it! <laughs> Alright. He's dodging. 13. Yeah, he's dodging. And... That's a miss. Yeah. It's a miss. Yeah, and then the tail whips around at you, Owen. It's got 10 foot reach. So. Um, so that's a 15, Owen. That's also a miss. So you just hop over it. Um, the zombie is going to attack you, Tilly. Miss. Nine. Miss. And then CL you off. Yup. Yay, my turn. Okay, I can't actually see anything from here. So, um... Let me move... Uh... I'll be able to see it from here. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> if you can't see it, CL can't oh, see it. Oh, wow. That's on the way, damn three, it. three sorcery points for haste. Oh, Not... sorry. Mm. Okay. okay. Oh, you, you fixed it. Okay. No, you didn't see Um, Hex, the big dude. Wait. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Fine, yeah. The big dude. 
Her it's hex, kind of... it's uh, either maybe constitution or dex, depending on what I've... Uh, oh yeah, five, which five, ability five, are you going to hex? De uh, I don't know. Well, I was eventually going to fireball, uh, fireball it and everything else as well. That's a save. It's a save. Oh, right. Oh, I saw hex. Yeah. Strength then. Does hex Only not be saved? Checks. No, ability check. No, oh. no, just checks. So okay. anything that's a check is probably you want to do strength because it's mm. so huge. Yeah. Okay, strength. Okay, back to strength. Cool. Use oh, my Eldritch Blast as always because it's so good. Um, yep, that's fine. It doesn't have cover because it's towering above these guys. Yeah, okay. Uh, both of them is hit. Yay! Um, oh. So you can roll damage for both and then roll hex both as well. Two hex. Then yes. damage, three and nine. Okay, so what's that? 12 plus 10, 22 points of damage total. Yay! Um, your beams just smash into it, sloughing off just chunks of flesh. Um, so there's creature now, like, bone exposed. Love. Still oh. lumbering towards you. Okay. Uh, anything else? Uh, I'm gonna move back. To... Okay, cool. Um, Zandala. Um, would it have like an opportunity attack or something like that? On you? Yeah. I mean... No, no, it's, it's way too far away. Okay, that. awesome. That's only if you break your break reach of it. Oh. Yeah, you have to you have to be like next you to, it to, to, to it. Okay. Yeah. So Zandala's gonna hop over here. Um I don't know, probably just hit it with a, a chromatic orb. <laughs> Fire. Um <laughs> Level three. <laughs> Misses. <laughs> okay, so that's fucking a level three slot gone. She's so fucking useless, God. Uh, she kind of hangs her head. Uh, <laughs> did, Tom just you gives him a pat out. on the shoulder, like, it's okay. <laughs> so, it's, Tilly, did you, did you say that out loud? You saw this no. fla flaming chromatic orb, like, kind of fly over uh, your head I and just completely be. miss it. Yeah, I suppose What did was. she say? What did you She's say? She's so fucking useless. Oh my god! <laughs> I just, I just glare at Tilly. No and wonder then, like, why she missed give her it, Tilly. Pat on the shoulder and like shake her, like she shakes her head, like don't, don't listen to her. <laughs> well, it's just funny because she was like excellent against the dragon. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just taking it back to. <laughs> All right, Tilly, you're up. Tilly's so oh, abusive. Okay. <laughs> this is a, is. this is a tough one. I think I'm go. I really don't want to, but I think I'm gonna dodge. Still get one one attack for your haste. Yeah. Can I'm dead be frightened? I guess you don't know. I can't uh, remember if I've tried it against other undead or not. I feel like you need to try it against this guy. <laughs> I attack the uh, T Rex. Okay. And I make a menacing attack. That's a hit. Do I have any four superiority? I swear to God. Whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't get more than four for a long time, if ever. I think your the 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 dice number increases to like d10 later. Yeah, you can also take a feat, but it's. Quite yeah, that expensive. and that and that shitty superiority die as well. No, yeah, d6. Yeah. D6. yeah. Huh? It's the same if you're already a battle master. I think you get just another dice. Oh, hey, really? Mm, yeah. That'd yeah. be cool. Um, I don't know. Uh, you have to look it up. Eight, eight points of damage, and it's a whiz save, right? Uh, yes. 14 DC. Okay, well. Not, oh! It's not a mute to condition. <laughs> 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 he was frightened of me. Um, so the T-Rex, uh, I guess, just has some sort of aversion to you now. In that case, I don't dodge. Can I Can I not dodge? C can I order it the other way around? Yeah, you can take your, your hasted action first. There's no, nothing that says you can't take it first. Yeah, boy. Okay, then I do my attacks. Like what you want to do. 
Okay. That's right. So it'd have disadvantage on attacks against you anyway. Just him. Or in the presence. So I get advantage. Yeah. No, you don't. No. Why not? It's fine. Second one hits. Holy shit. Uh, okay, and then I do my bonus action to attack as well. Yep. That hits as well. 16 points of slashing damage. Alright. Um, yeah, you, you like run under its its huge stomping legs as it lashes out towards you. Just slice over its belly. Um, and now we're on to Owen. Assuming you don't want to move. Nah. I got I'm this. going to move. <laughs> In a burst of radiant light, he bursts into his angel wings form. Angel form. Yeah, but... cool. um... It's Jesus. <laughs> oh, no way. It's just so many icons. I can't turn us back. <laughs> and he's just going to absolutely launch into the T-Rex. And he's going to use his first attack from his hasted action. Uh, which will just be... He's, he's going to punch it on, right on the noggin. All right, uh, yep. Uh, if you do it to sharks, it's the right thing to do. So he's going to do it to a T-Rex. On the yep. nose. No, why not? The other one. Okay, sorry. Uh, martial arts. Bam. Yeah. It's a hit. So there's that. Um, plus, plus your level in Radiant, yeah. Okay, 10 points of damage. You just um, burst uh, into... Wings, you zoom up to the height of this T Rex and you deliver this devastating punch straight to its face. It rears back as your fist ignites to white flame. And then I'll just like hit it casually on with my foot. Bonus action. Yes. 12. Does that trigger if you don't take the attack out? No. So you can't do that. <laughs> I did the, I did an attack action as a result of the hasted action, which is an action. Uh, it, it, attack as, action. Yeah, actually, I think you're right. I think it says that you can take the attack action with that, right? Yeah. To take the attack and then bracket yeah. as one wef weapon action. So it's still an attack action. So yeah, you still yeah. qualify for your bonus. So that's my bonus is to attack with the... That's a hit. Perfect. Okay, another six point damage. Okay. Cool. Yeah. You're right, Richard. You gain one superiority die, which is a d6. This die is added to any superiority die you have from another source, which... But I'm not sure if that still means it's still a d6, or whether it's... It is it's still a d6. Yeah. It is. Okay, no, it says if you already have superiority dice, you gain one more. Otherwise, you have uh, one superiority die. We're reading from different sources, then. Could be I'm errata. Reading... I'm be much errata. Adept. Yes. It's the same thing. Mine might be an earlier version. I don't know. Mine's from the PHP. Yeah. Yeah, but they, they do printing, so they they like adjust things. So it might. I change. don't know. I don't know. Yeah. You have, if you have different editions. Okay. Anyway, let's move on. Me. You guys can talk talk about that in the chat. Right. Feel a sudden need to touch my quiver. Speed. <laughs> quiver. <laughs> Okay. All right, yeah. Um, reach into to the power granted by your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> One night every year, she feels the need to flame her quiver. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you still have a bonus action. Um... Okay. Um. So you could hide again, but I need to rehide. You don't need to rehide, no. Oh, oh, sorry, I thought you said you can rehide. Uh, uh, you, I mean, you can. There'd be no point to it, but. Yeah. yeah. I will. Otherwise... Stay here and be like. Cool. Is it firing in a second? Everyone's concentrating. Really hard. Cool. Which is the most recent? Well, the first edition is obviously the... No, I'm not sure which one you're saying is the first edition, whether it's yours or mine. I think mine is. I think I, I've had my handbook for ages. Uh... Okay, Colin, what are you doing? Oh, that was my turn. Um, the initiative order's right there. How does 
it look? It looks like a zombie. Like, yeah, it's just you can't tell because it's a zombie, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll move, I'll move here. <laughs> if it were alive, it would be looking pretty fucking horrible with some, like, <laughs> bone exposed. Yeah, I think I'm going to wait with my fireball in case we don't get a rest and we meet more nasties. So I'm just going to Scorching Ray. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Oh, <clears throat> I think we want the big guy dead first. Yeah, for sure, for sure. The zombies, so who gets shit? Yeah, I'm going to do all on the big guy. Okay. And I'm going to also empower it, because oh. I can. Okay, one more sorcery point, and then roll your three rays. <clears throat> That's a hit. Okay. Definitely re-rolling that one. Uh, they're all hits, and then you can choose which which ones you want to re-roll. Uh, just the one, I think. Just the one. Okay, roll another d6, and we'll add it to that top one. Oh, so it's a d8 then. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, you can't you can't re-roll it again, obviously. Makes my my maths a lot easier there. Nice. Yeah. Seven. Waste. Take that into account then. I might get that later on. After seventeen, and then three, four, so twenty-four. Twenty-four. Uh. Yeah. All right. Uh. Okay. So... Um, okay, so so the rays fly out from your hand and and smash into this this zombie. Each one striking it as it, as it jerks from side to side, being hit by all of them. Um, as the final one hits, it catches catches on the the rotten putrid flesh, um, all the all the noxious gases, and it just completely ignites and the. <laughs> The T Rex goes running through the, the jungle, colliding into trees um, until it finally keels over to the ground. <laughs> that was smoldering. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. What the hell? Was the Radiant doing extra damage? No, it's not, it's not vulnerable to Radiant, no. Just only had 136 hit points. Um, so Mishrab is going to move his Hunter's Mark. This, um, it's got cover now. Uh, or does it? Because it's just Tilly. It's just Tilly like in the way. It. Yeah, okay. So he's just going to take a shot. Um, I think it may have low health, but I'm pretty sure his bite is like 8 or something. Yeah, I feel like uh, it, it has it has undead out. fortitude, so it like could it's have reduced to zero. Life. It can keep keep fighting. Also, it could have vomited out a couple more zombies. Than it keep vomiting zombies. Exactly. It, its mm -hmm. bite does four d twelve plus seven. It's what not that? How much? Sixteen d seven. Four d twelve plus seven. Plus seven. Oh, plus so seven. Shit, taking man. Taking that dodge action. <laughs> Pretty nasty. Kid must it, have been like, God damn it! It wouldn't really one shot me unless it. Yeah. I've 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 been preparing the last the last chapter of the of the book, so. He uh, wants to kill us. <laughs> I think that was a. It's probably gonna kill you. <laughs> unless you guys are very maybe, fucking careful. Maybe um, we should be writing a diary that's very detailed. <laughs> So mm. any adventurers in our following can get to the exact point that we got to. Yeah. <laughs> and, and like Prince of Persia, both. leave all your markings where you've been walking and stuff so that people have an idea of where you've been climbing and where She's you've been walking. Her... She's got her... Uh, yeah, it can't move far enough. It can only move 20 feet. Mm. So it's gonna, gonna go there. I can't do anything. And then she's gonna attack it with her base. Ok, 
Okay. Cool. Oh. Wow, Andro. And completely miss, uh, like staggering. I don't know. She she didn't see Tilly in front of her because Tilly's moving too quickly um, and staggers uh, and misses the zombie completely. So Tyrannosaurus zombie's dead. Uh, this zombie will probably uh, continue attacking Tilly because the reason not to. Uh, ri nice. uh, Repost. Post. All right. You roll your attack. Is it hit? Uh, wait one second. Menacing attack. Okay, sure. Add, I guess you roll two superiority dice on that then. <laughs> Just because it'd be funny. Yeah, and the class like all this over, so. Yeah. Okay, six and two superiority dice. What? Fuck off. Four. Uh, so ten points of damage total. And it has to make a whiz save, right? Yeah, or it's scared of me. Okay. Yeah. Like it. It's also scary. <laughs> Track record with scaring undead is pretty good. <laughs> I'm just great right. at scaring really big, scary things. <laughs> yeah. Ciel, you're up. Yay, finally. Okay. Now I can just pop out of here again. It's just a zombie. Just a zombie left. Mm, okay. Yeah, I guess. Big guy. <laughs> well done. Me, baby, me. <laughs> um, can I fix this dude? Yep, move hex. Cool. Uh, I will show you how to move that. Oh. Oh no no, no. I, I have to move it. You, you can't. Okay. Just um, do your shit. Yeah. I'll just blast. Not mother. Okay, I'll just blast. blast. One, two. Hit. Miss. Uh, that's a hit. Oh, it's both of them. Yeah. Oh. Zombies have nothing to do with Do your second okay. damage. Pay a few damages. And another. 15 for the first one. 21. Uh, and then. And then 6. 6 for the second one. So. 21. Okay. Dead. Is it? Oh. Is it dead, dead, dead? Okay. The D. Well, she did 15 damage on the first one, so the, the DC that... was 20. So. Right. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so you blast this zombie to pieces. Good night. <laughs> So, so <laughs> technically the second one did miss actually because it had cover from Unjo, but the first one was enough to kill it. <laughs> She's a big girl. <sighs> oh. Good job, right. guys. Are we are so, we good? Are we good? Oh, yeah. 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 How many EXP was that? XP. At least twelve. <laughs> EXP. How many EXP? Oh, wow. oh. Can we go and hunt another one quick? <laughs> <laughs> Dragon was about the same amount, wasn't it? It was five, nine? It was a five, I guess. It was no. significantly. It's just. Oh, for fuck's sake, the I like your bond. camera, by the way, Laura. It's so nice and blurry. <laughs> yeah. It makes such a huge but, difference when Carmen can actually shoot things. Yeah. So, sure. so frustrating. The whole fire area is like. <gasps> <gasps> Oh, and, yeah. But it's good we're fighting against loads of undead as well because you'll be yeah. actually so. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Well, you did it, guys. You defeated the terror of the jungle, the, the undead. That was pissed. Was that, yeah. that was it. That was it. Undril was maybe overreacted. Undril. Undril. Oh, no, Musharab. Musharab. Like... Uh, you know, I, I mean, I guess. I mean, it is a pretty fucking terrifying thing. It was still terrifying. I mean, it it was charging at us and everything, so I think it it's hasn't okay. Overwatch play. Twelve sixty-six. Is that right? Oops, uh... Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, in the ballpark. Tilly, Tilly's a fighter. You're a fighter. Wait, what? Yeah, no, I guess the one chat was asking. I guess it was more just. Are you a specific branch of fighter, or are you just a fighter? Big dick fighter. <laughs> oh god. She uses- Tilly uses her massive tally whacker to fight. <laughs> she's I know, a, she's it's a, a little master. bit teensy-weensy. It's, it's, more, it's more of a piercing weapon than a bludgeon. <laughs> <laughs> Penetrating. Needle thin. 
Oh well, okay. Who, I guess. Me, yeah, just to put your XP. Uh, yeah, my well. battle mask. Oof, well, yeah, Carmen's just battle gonna... Mask. Carmen's gonna go over to Zandala and just, like, <laughs> give her, like, a... You know, like, like a side hug with just one arm, shoulder to shoulder, and just like, it's okay. And then give, give like, Summer Wise a little scrap, scratch chin. Yeah. Just have a little... Well, here's the yeah. like, You know, it's okay. Right. It doesn't always work. You know, it's okay. It's just a dick. <laughs> it's just a dick. Yeah, it's it's she, not she, your she fault if it, if it doesn't, it doesn't kind of go up. It. It's just a dick. I'll just tell her, like, it's just a dick. <laughs> No short rest. I'm oh, gonna push oh. on into the jungle. Yeah. Yep. I'm fine. I never have to short rest anyway. It's either long rest or nothing. I didn't think I get anything back on a short rest, so uh, cool to carry on, I guess. Owen's a little bit like he psyched himself up so hard, and then was just like, "Cool." <laughs> we short rest them yet? Yeah, we're all good. Sometimes <laughs> just be like that. In I just wish I could get sorcery points for short resting. So nobody wants to go rooting around the corpse to see if they find anything. I don't want to Can get I too close. It smells really disgusting, so I'm just going to stay further away. Uh, just watch everybody you, um, do whatever they I think they I do. still have my like El Eldritch Sight. Sight. Yeah, you yeah, have a uh, will. So yeah, just, so yeah, see if any... Is there anything magical around? Uh, no. I'm whatever what whatever necromantic magis, uh, magic was around this has faded yes. now. For Carmen to type it out. <laughs> yeah, you can just say it. <laughs> I can't say that. Fair. It's true. Oh, uh, okay. So we're heading on. Actually, remembers that I butchered that dragon last week. Thank you for remembering that. <laughs> okay. yeah, brainwashed. <laughs> heroic moment. I guess we... short rest and then carry on. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, are we down with that? Yep. Yeah. Do it. Yeah, okay. He probably set up so be a little oh, short so. rest, probably a, a fair distance from this, this corpse. Yeah, yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd rather not smell it. What if it gets cold, we'll have to go inside its belly. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Stop. No. We've got a shark. Make us things. Like, it can probably pick out weeds that really warm you if you wrap them tightly around your body or something. I don't know. <laughs> It's just, it's just jungle, it's not like full of magical shit. <laughs> but um, yeah, you won't need any of that for uh, for your short rest. You know, you'll just chow down on some yacha beetles. Yeah. Uh, yeah anyway. in, the, in the marching order, like, Zandal and I are kind of in the back. But I'll make sure not to be at the very end in case, like, a raptor comes and eats someone who's... <laughs> I'm usually at the back because I don't want to be at the front anymore because I'm scared. Okay. I'm literally I'm sure too scared. May and Zandala are behind But I can me. keep an eye out for things but I'm behind us. That's cool. So I'll be I'm not in the afraid. Towards the back. I'm only a bit afraid. Go with Mushy then at the front. Wait. Okay. Well, am I not at the front? Am I just chilling? You can be at the front. I don't go wherever you want. You know, just do your marching. Your own uh, I'll go on you... um, uh, on Jill's shoulders. <laughs> on my shoulders. You can't just choose to do this. She's not letting you Andrew. on her shoulders. Oh. <laughs> oh, Tilly, you can sit on my shoulders. You're too weak. I'm not very strong, though. <laughs> Andrew just looks at you with disdain. Come on. I, I, I'm t I can't see over all the, all the bushes and, like... Good. Foliage, so I, I need I need a bit of height. Well, then you'd better watch your step. <laughs> Might you watch your step? <laughs> Might you lose your foot? Good one. The only way I lose my foot is when I shove it up your ass. Well, I can guarantee you'll definitely lose it. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, Tilly, you, you don't have to. I, you don't have to shove anything up your ass. You can sit on my shoulders. Let's do it. It'll be totally fun. <laughs> 
Oh, Andrew, you're the best. Uh, yeah. She's never been so feisty. <laughs> yeah. Of, uh, just like, yeah. Don't kill a dragon. Everyone's just something. like blushing right now. Like, <laughs> and Andrew's just tired of this shit. <laughs> She's she's perfectly cordial with the rest of you. <laughs> yeah, I'll just I'll just give give her a look like yeah yeah me too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um yeah, so I wanted to just go over what stuff you bring with you on your expedition because Michelle would have would have loaded up on just like more sort of exploring stuff if you're going to a, a city. Um, so. And if there's something you guys wanted to bring as well, so they've got plenty of, of things like you know grappling hooks, ropes, uh, iron spikes, caltrops, that sort of stuff. Anything you can like manufacture, they will have had. They didn't That's have any else though, did they? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't we lose like a rope or something? I still have a fifty foot rope. Have a uh, forty foot that? rope of climbing. You lost okay. ten feet off one of your ropes. Yeah. 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 I, I do have an explorer's pack and everything inside of it, which I think contains yeah. rope. If that's uh, it, yeah, it does. Yeah, I still have insect repellent, and yeah, I think yeah. I've got most of what I want. Okay. Unless it's like grappling hook. Grappling hook. Oh. Does anyone have one? No. Um, I only have rope. Can stick one in the I still bit. have a shovel and I think I'll keep it just in case we never know. Okay. I have a holy symbol. Yep, we will it. need that. It's Can a I holy symbol. Oh, <laughs> keep the city. <laughs> what else was city? You said oh and pitons. Have we got like pitons? Only pussies need pitons. Does does anyone have it in one of their packs? <laughs> Nope. Uh, Explorers doesn't know. Does Dungeoneers? That uh, does, isn't it? Yeah, it Dungeoneers does. Dungeoneers has... Yep. Has... Yep. Ten. How many is a good amount of pittons? Like... Ten. I'll take twenty, because I don't believe Tilly. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. That's yeah, a good total mix. Twenty pittons. Twenty? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I don't know how much they weigh. Uh, actually, let me check. He'll probably say. Wait, will you take my pittons because, mate, it's heavy. <laughs> no. They they weigh a quarter of a pound each. Quarter of a pound. Yes. So, mark them as yeah, 0 0.25, and then in the quantity column, just put 20. <laughs> and if you're taking maize, then another 10 from me. Okay, done. Wait, what? 0.25. Oh, that's hook. two point five pounds. Yeah, so you can take two point five pounds away from your dungeoneer's pack. Per pitten. Per uh, for May. Yeah. If you take a pitten out. I can hold more things. I have exactly nineteen and a half <laughs> no sorry, nineteen point eight pounds of holding stuff. What space or you're holding that much? That's how much I have left. Damn, you're you're carrying quite a lot, aren't you? I'm carrying a well. The Dungeoneers pack is thirty nine pounds. Okay, and Undra still <laughs> has five thousand copper pieces on her. I never use the rations. They're probably Could all moldy now. <laughs> dump that in the boat. Yeah, you're, let me remove that from her and add it to the boat. I can add it to the boat if you want. Thanks. Um, yeah, add, add five thousand copper, and I'll remove that from her. Cool. She's got a priest's pack, otherwise. We use online banking here in the jungle of Cholt. I'll just get out my pen, my card reader. <laughs> I'll just get out my Apple Pay. <laughs> Do you accept a uh, nice room? Do you expect American know. Express? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm putting on that voice. It's imagining like a douchebag from Wall Street. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have a Bluetooth you headset. Take American Express. Well, I'll take my business elsewhere, thanks. <laughs> More admin. This Let's is go. the best part of the game, right? Let's go! I'm just looking for, like, nicely color coded tabulated folders. Fuck off! <laughs> and. Can a chimp be immoral? It's a good question. Yes. 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 
is the answer. But it depends on what humans believe to be moral, I guess. No, it doesn't. In mora uh, morality is objective, it's not subjective. We, do that. <laughs> we don't care. You're stating it as a fact, I mean, that's that's one, one philosophical thought. You're gonna become uh, like Freud. One, one's one's morals if, if, may be different from another's. If you relate, if you relate, relate morality to uh, either suffering or well-being, and since suffering and well-being can be measured, so that's it, your your morals. <laughs> oh god! But not necessarily Guys. someone else's. No, I don't know. Yeah, well, yeah, obviously, but then that's just tangential. This is, it's just it just depends what your. This is going to be like a stupid doesn't. debate. And then what you, what you, what you really want to argue is what's what's the useful <laughs> why why would you what what's useful to argue then is what would be um the good definition a useful definition for morality. That's I don't really think morals good. necessarily mean useful though. Thing. No, what? No, I'm not saying. Yeah. What? He's he's like he's so Tilly's posed the question: Do you, can kobolds be moral? Yeah, this is a conversation. Yes. Well, kobolds are sentient. Yes. Because I, because I think in some in some societies, what might seem moral for some people, um, might not necessarily be the best, but necessarily be for the greater good or for practicality or usefulness or to, I don't know, further the human race. Okay, like where, where are we going with this? Right? Like, is, is justice moral, for example? So, honor killing, no. as an interesting example. It's not. I guess the point is, like, the you've point got is, do we care? societies that are built up around it, right? And you've got, like, other things. It's, 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 it's completely dependent on where you're coming from and, and how it's used. There are people that are always going to abuse the system. But. We're losing views, guys. Yeah. We're not. We're not. Why, why are we <laughs> even talking about this? I don't know. This is just Wait, like banter as we're walking. Type. Like, uh, so out the boat. Like, oh, whatever, guys. It's, it's giving me a headache. Oh. To be moral is to try one's best to do what you believe uh, is the right thing to do. But you may be wrong, or you may be taught that some things are moral, but then again, in that case, your own it's, it can't be measurable then in a standard standardized way. Okay. End of story. Kim, how are we doing? <laughs> yes, Kim, how are we doing? Uh, yeah, just, just. Can't, can't I, I think he's. Can we get away from the fucking corpse? <laughs> yeah, you, you are away from the corpse, so you can do your short rest. You can spend any hit dice. I don't know if any of you took any damage. Can it be a moving short rest <laughs> when we move on? We're like strolling. Uh, Tilly, some brightly coloured plants. Variety dice back. Nice drawings. Uh, I've already done. Job. Okay. Cool. I think. Yeah. Car uh, Carmen just talks to Ciel about that half orc. You know, sometimes I still think about him. Uh, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Was it Daniel? Was it Daniel? Daniel. Oh my god. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, like. Holy shit, right? I mean, I don't think I've ever seen something that big. <laughs> Alright. Um, <laughs> so like <laughs> oh god. <laughs> See how like just red in the face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't sorry. know which one, both uh, or uh, just me. So it works. Kim um, seems to be doing yeah. a lot of like admin. The, the, the yeah, next yeah. One's coming up, like. <sighs> so May May's, May's sort of Owen crush is 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 not as um not as powerful as it was before. So she's just like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm making some mayo and nays. Hey, we save that for later. We could be dying in the next day or so. Exactly. That's why we need to do it now. Why well, can't you make like? Uh, Owen's proposing wait. we have sex. It's weird. <laughs> what? <laughs> he says he wants to make mayonnaise. It's a euphemism, right? <laughs> oh, May. Owen just um, realised it's a euphemism. Are there any <laughs> potatoes around? What? Are there no. any potatoes around? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we're like in the jungle, aren't we? 
Okay, so it's some like uh, Dutch cuisine. <laughs> yeah, as well, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, some good ones. Um, well, the okay, so the question is, is uh, does does anyone want to take a portable ram with them? What? A what? portable ram? It weighs That's... thirty-five pounds. <laughs> Mesherab can't carry it. He did suggest it before you left. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Okay, if I'll he take su it. suggests it, uh, definitely. Please, like, I will sure. take it. I've got I enough. Will. Okay, you so I, I want to take Because he reckons if fun. there are any like rotten doors or stuff in this old city, mm -hmm. might, might want to bust them open with the ram. It'd just okay. look funny if the halfling's carrying it, so. Th <laughs> yeah. 35. Um, it's like so carrying it's, 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 it's it's it or dragging it. And it's strapped to your back and it's just a giant. Pole. Yeah, it's a yeah. normal sized <laughs> ram for <laughs> Hilly. <laughs> Okay, so add one one portable <laughs> ram to your inventory. Oh, I gotta draw this guy. Weighs thirty five pounds, <laughs> and it gives you a plus four to any strength checks to break down doors. Cool. Okay. Let me just draw this. This is such a great imagery. All right. <laughs> so. Oh, were you updating Mushy? Is that yeah, what was yeah. happening? Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's give me this stuff. Right. See how strength. Pretty What's high, sixteen. Boss level. <clears throat> sixteen. Let's see, yeah, sixteen. All right. So after after defeating the the Tyrannosaurus, the rest the rest of the day goes by relatively uneventfully. Um, you set up camp for another night and resume your search the following day. Um, towards uh, probably around afternoon, you spot it. <gasps> What do we spot? Forgotten city of Omu, um, oh. sequestered away deep in the jungle, in a in like a valley. It almost looks sunken, as though the outline of the city has been forcibly forcibly pushed down into the ground. There are cliffs on either side, and May, you found this river. Um, you followed it, and that's how you found the city. So this river now cascades down into waterfall, down into the city. Wow. Look beautiful. Um, looking uh, from the, let me just pop you onto it. So looking over the cliff, you can survey the whole of the city. Looks like this. Oh damn! Oh, whoa! Awesome. So is it That's now cool. just called the city of Omu? <laughs> oh my god! This song. The found Sounds city. Like Legend of Zelda. Guys. So did we come out from the northeast then I guess? So you you, you you are up around here at the moment. But you could go around if you wanted to. To like there there is there's some stairs here. You could you could skirt around or you could try your luck going down the waterfall. So we're currently at the top then. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. So what what can we see? Does it look ancient and like decrepit, or yeah. is there any activity that we can see from just looking from where we are? Um, it looks ancient and crumbling for sure. Um, do you want to make a perception check to see what you can see from your high vantage points? Was that was that? Can a, we all do everyone? that? Or is that just a... Huh? Was that a diss against Tilly? <laughs> rub a fucking cliff. I see nothing. I fall over. Yeah, you guys. Have... <laughs> Save us, me. Oh, what do my elf eyes see? Yeah. Oh, do they see? Okay. Oh, Jack, shit. <laughs> my passive perception is 16. Okay. Um, what was it? 18. 18, sorry. No, with, yeah, 18. So there are there are birds circling overhead. Um, can, like, you can't really hear anything over the sound of the waterfall. You're too close to the waterfall, but you definitely see like signs of movement in the city. Uh, it's not empty by any means. Zombies. But you, Zombies. you have no idea this far up what they could be. How high is this um, cliff? Oh, it actually says. Okay. One. So there were stairs or we could go down the waterfall edge. Jump down them. Yeah. I Where were the stairs? What well, did this? Because if there's undead, yeah, no. if there's undead, we can like funnel them and kill them. I can think of a really good tool that would help us like go uh, <laughs> uh hold on. safer and maybe more stealthy entrance. Oh, Gold, I, can't put, I, I can't 
can't put my finger on it. What is it called? That's it. I'm pretty Loom. sure Loom. that the broom wouldn't have actually been. Well, probably the freeze wheel. It would have probably been excellent, actually. It's <laughs> alright, I can just do can a carry. fit on it. I'm pretty sure it would have been the perfect thing to use, right? If you want, jump on the back and we'll go for a go for a, a, a jaunt. I am carrying the ram. Okay. I can actually carry all this. No, it's, no, it's... I'll get on your back because I've got better eyes than. What does the battering ram look like? Like, what's what's it got on the end? It's a big dildo. It's just a massive. Okay, the so oh, giant penis. The fist. <laughs> no, so why is it shaped like this? <laughs> <laughs> Three fingers. All right. Um, I've actually got a description here for you. Uh, the, the jungle parts to reveal a dead city enclosed by sheer cliffs. Ruined buildings and stone boulevards rise like ghosts from the floor of the misty basin. Colourful birds glide overhead. A waterfall pours into the basin, creating a swollen river that floods much of the city before draining into a deep rift filled with molten lava. Ruined palace... Yeah, lies a few hundred feet from the edge of the steaming abyss. Yeah, you can see all of it. You're you're like up at vantage points, and they're like 100 to 150 feet high up oh. these cliffs. Oh, I see. So I presume this is the palace. Um, uh, no, it's the palace. no, that's no, the palace. Don't tell us that. <laughs> don't tell us anything. Well, he literally just said. No, it's it's a description. description. It will see a palace, a ruined palace. Oh, sorry. This that's is this is what you see that you that you perceive as a palace. Can, can we make out what that is? Because that looks important. It's pretty far away. Um, it can't really make out much more than some sort of I'm just the house. Ru ruined, ruined buildings. But look at all the lava fallen away. It. Yeah. Well, it might They're just, just unfortunate. fallen away. It might just be, in, yeah. Yeah, that doesn't seem at all suspect. I think that's real <laughs> architecture that they've deliberately built to say, oh, I want to live away from people. I don't want neighbours. <laughs> yeah. Well, so let's just sit in the middle of a freaking lava pool. <laughs> why don't we head south um, along the wall, so we can get closer to the palace, because that seems like an important place. Oh, don't forget, there's loads of undead in the far in the we in do. the jungle. So, we, yeah, I'm we've not come across that um, much. Owen, you kind of keep like a map, slight. don't you? Yeah, do oh. I? Do you? I thought you did. Discuss your plans. Yeah, I can do. Because you were, but yeah. weren't you drawing new areas that we hadn't been 